and we're live hello this is confusing this is uh why we're a little bit out of sync for for a tuesday welcome everyone to episode six not five of season three of the plastic crap podcast with me martin seventh son to my right my right i don't know if there's anyone else's left i've got ken from miniature wargaming warriors below me is Good steve name. from on point hq and in the corner out in his garden at the back of <laughs> in, a, in a in what part i think is still technically classed as a shed for planning permission purposes is uh, <laughs> john from boots yeah on just the table. keep saying that please yeah <laughs> how, are you, how are you chap how are you all doing chaps very good well, well good. very good very good. Did everyone Tuesday. have a nice what Valentine's the hell has gone Day? On? I've, I lost, I've lost track. What's going on? I know. I know. Did everyone have a nice Valentine's Day? Ken, you're still in a relationship, I assume. Yeah. Just <laughs> 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 you live. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it was weird to it was weird not to be doing this on a Monday night. And both mm. both Elaine and I lay, well sat on the sofa after dinner and went. We should be doing something. We should be doing something. We just I think we watched we watched June. Anyone watch that? The new one. The new, yeah, the new one. Yeah. That's coming up in no. I, I'm gonna I, might, I may watch that this weekend. I haven't decided yet. Hmm. Uh, it was very good. That. I'm not sure it was um I'm not sure it was Elaine's thing, but uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> good Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, I'm she gonna, I'm gonna... Sort of normally, but it was uh, it was a bit it was quite full on. It was, uh, yeah, it was very good. Enjoyed it. I, I, I was going to ask this as well, but uh, for instance, General Haig says he must say that Steve's cravat looks very smart. I was going to yes. ask. Do you know why I'm, wearing, why I'm wearing a cravat? Um, last week when I was talking to um, Andy and Tom from the Hobby Support Group, we, we, right. we, we got onto the subject of wargaming cravats because I'm, I'm channeling my inner Peter Cushing. <laughs> okay. Cod, cod pieces and cravats. Is that going to be your your blog? Yeah, <laughs> my club. <laughs> no, I just thought I, I saw it on the floor before, so I thought, you know what, I'll I'll, I'll wear a cravat tonight. Why that's, not? That, that that style. I feel, I feel like we're letting the side down a little bit. To be I, fair, I feel, I feel we need to go and smarten up our our performance if we're going to be. I know. In the presence I know. of Steve, in his. I'm, I, I am room. wearing official PC yeah. pink match, which yeah, is yeah, available. So so I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. In, in fact, the uh, the the official merch for CrackCon Two is available. Speaking of which, we've got a few announcements before we we get into today's um, today's topic, which is build me an army worthy of the Plastic Crack Podcast, uh, mm. not Mordor. Um, and um, but yes, uh, so we might as well start with the. Um, I suppose the biggest news, which is, of course, last week we announced uh, that the tickets were going on sale for uh, CrackCon Two. Uh, now dubbed now dubbed crack harder uh, <laughs> um, for all merchandising purposes. Um, so um, head over. The link is hope, uh, I'm sure Dom can post a link in the description. Um, but oh, um, it's um, yep, yeah, just t-shirts and things available there. But the awesome thing is, we started getting all these messages from Dom, and I think by the end of the stream, we'd sold two thirds of the tickets. And then mm -hmm. within 24 hours, it was a yeah, sellout. Well. It's all gone. It's yeah, all gone. Well. So we're sold out. Which is it a bit is crazy. crazy. Um, absolutely nuts. So we are going to speak to um, the venue. And uh, once we've uh, got the table list up, which is going to go up after the stream today, I've got um, list out all the tables um, and people can start booking tables and organizing games. Once we know sort of the range of games, how many people are sort of hosting ev um, events, hosting games, um, it may be that potentially there might be some more tickets made available for people who want to just come along and actually game. Um, so there might be some more stuff coming up. But... Yeah, it was a little bit of a shock, wasn't it? Just twenty less than twenty four hours year where we we were really wondering whether we'd fill it, whether it'd actually be, you know, <laughs> whether anyone wants to come to then suddenly sell out in twenty four hours. I know. I, I, yeah. I kept saying, my the, the equation I was working off is if you compare our fan base to the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's and, true. And, pound and, and, and the speed the tickets sold out. We're bigger yeah. than the Rolling Stones. I thought you were Every time I put Jesus something then, in the Slack yeah. channel, that's exactly what you came back with. It's like, oh, that'll make Mick me, me Jagger unhappy. <laughs> that, that, that's true. Yeah, it, you know, it. No, it's it's just crazy. So we'll keep everybody posted um, if if more tickets become available. Um, I'm I'm sure once we once we know what everyone's doing, there'll be there'll be some um, you know we'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, so it's crazy. But speaking of, of the stream, so it's the other piece of news is is thank you to everybody who nominated us 
uh, to the Little Wars um, uh, uh, blah, 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 Caesar Awards for best yes, podcast. That, that was that was great. So thank you very very much. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. Really awesome. really nice. Isn't it? Absolutely awesome. And, and also, folks, we have to say we're in the presence of <laughs> gaming <laughs> godity. Uh, War Warca gaming godity. I like that. <laughs> godity. <laughs> God, that's, not even that. word. that's not a way it should be a word. <laughs> Ken came so close to Godity, you can say that. It's all fine. That's a Pokemon, Godity. Uh, yeah. remember, that, remember that scene in in Wayne's World where they're they're not worthy in front of Alice Cooper. Yeah, definitely. We were we were prostrate prostrating ourselves um, last last week. We really were. Yeah. But yeah, just to echo what Martin says. Massive thank you to everyone that that nominated us. Was I was absolutely blown away. I really was. Yeah, amazing, amazing, no, and it was also as well as our superstar in the presence. It was lovely to see some of our regulars it, also. Yeah, I was going to say, well. really there's nice loads of cool stuff that's been that's been nominated. It's it's really cool, but pretty much, every, well, I'd say every channel on there's worth it's it's worth worth following. What did surprise you know is that Dom nearly gave me a heart attack on site because uh, <laughs> Dom was watching this video live uh, when they announced the nominations, and the PCP uh, got one, so he sent a message. At the time, we just discovered a well and the ground was falling away in front of us and i was desperately trying to clear bits of tools and um <laughs> other stuff out of the way and put up some fencing around it so so we didn't lose anybody down it um and my phone was pinging and uh pinging and pinging and pinging and, and naturally i thought oh no it's the nursery like one of my kids is ill uh, or, or something like that or oh no you know they're sending them home i've got to do pay. or another site on another site somebody's very something's happened and then i looked at it and it, it was every, every now and then it was dom just sent just sending all these messages this is like dom 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 <laughs> dom dom yeah, it was dom, your yeah. fault because you kept winning awards and i thought i didn't know so no well yes the if, if you didn't and then then the, then the then the pcp one and i thought brilliant that's outstanding and then i kept watching and it's like seven sun sun then seven sun seven sun, seven sun. Seven sun. <laughs> He may have got more. Well, I switched off at that point. It was... <laughs> uh, it's, it's very nice for nominating. So, no, thank you. Yes, if you thank you very much for nominating me. If you did, that's it's lovely. Thank you very much. But most of all, thank you for the the Plastic Crap podcast because that is absolutely awesome. awesome. Um, so, but do cool. but do go and check them out because um, there's uh, lots of. I think if you're you're a pay, if you're a Patreon on the awards, you can vote on the podcast. Can't you? Is that how it works? Yeah, I on the podcast, when you have remember. to be. I think there's only one cat. Is it the best channel? Anybody can. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but the other categories yeah. you have to be a patron for um little wars to be able to vote yeah there's some so there's got, some reason so, yeah so we so we got nominated through their patrons did we or no, no anybody nom do nomination nominates. oh and then when they actually vote you have to be a patron yeah yeah so a yeah. patron and they've got like some some judges but which which one of the ones i think is um is isn't it lardy rich but isn't he up for yes. an award against his <laughs> yes. say, the, yeah. the, the, the podcast? The I hope he podcast, doesn't vote on that. your on the category that he's up against us in. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That's it. It's absolute, absolutely amazing. No, um, as um, Storm Steel says, he's also up for the fan favorite as well, along with uh, Travis, uh, Luke, APS, and the. Uh, Sorry, the other one's just slipped my mind. So go and go and check everyone out. But no, once again, thank you, thank you oh. very much. Um, Ken's Yorkshire. We, um, Gaming, gaming. Well. yeah, yeah. I listened to um, I actually was so entertained by you two on there. I listened to it again when you put it on YouTube <laughs> yeah, funny, the other day on the site. Funny, isn't it? It's uh, yeah, it, it funny, yeah. I, I I missed your um, your room 101 bit before. I must, I must have, I don't know, I must have just gone to the loo and left my left it running or something and then come back. So, um, so that that was um, great. And I, I have to agree with uh, with you, Ken. Points, yeah. I'm I'm well up for getting rid of that, you know. Yeah, I yeah. So, um, <laughs> I put the defence up there. Don't you worry. Um... Don't. Um, there was some. Uh, do we have any other announcement? I think I feel like we did, and I can't remember what it was. Uh... There was another announcement to be made, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Is that about the the, all, all the Haley's wonderful stuff, um, the spreadsheets, and all the details about Crackcom will be? Fine. Yeah, no, we have his oh, yeah, the other games. Uh, the games will be going up, and of course, um, there will be a questionnaire that goes out, um, but it will go out two weeks before the event, because after two weeks, you can't view the questionnaire. 
which we found. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, oh, yes. <laughs> you know, so uh, so now I go out beforehand. Um, of course, if you're not in the Facebook group, oh no, I've just remembered, it's the Facebook group. So, um, despite what the uh, the it may say at the minute, because somebody somebody dropped out, um, we can it, it, the uh, the Facebook group. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? I've lost it. I've lost it. Where'd it go? Oh no. <laughs> Carry on talking. I'll find something. It hit 500. Um, it did hit 500 subscribers. It, we hit 500, 500, which is is nuts. Um, so thank you very much to everybody who's joined the Facebook group. If you haven't joined the Facebook group and you're on Facebook, why not come over and join us? You'll get to see uh, everything that everybody's putting up. And there we go. So we are now 500 strong. So as I continue to just find the actions where it equals him out, it is a Clifford, a Clifford. Um, a Clifford, a Clifford. No one wants to be a Clifford, a Clifford. Um, I do. But we, I've got Clifford. There are five, not even his own side liked him. Like they, they basically know, liked, like they him. sent him there. They sent him there to die. Um, so yeah. the flower, the flower of Craven, um, like cavalry, scored a unit misunderstood him if you believe like all the propaganda the way that everyone believes this is that like, he murdered like you know a, 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 well he, what was he I think he was 17 or 18 like edward's little brother again it just goes to show don't piss off edward the fourth really like don't don't make him angry although to be fair um he did get shot through the neck apparently with a headless arrow which i still think is far better way to go than what the yorkist had planned for him if they'd have caught him <laughs> um so uh so yeah and uh bicker city i've got to i've got to agree dude clifford had it coming um i'm not going to uh run for everybody who's watching but thank you very very much if you joined us and thank you for everyone who's joining on the catch-up especially as we're a day late so if you're watching it thinking why didn't you see it on the catch-up today when it was on yesterday and you've stuck with it thank you very much indeed <laughs> um, we're good, <laughs> we are we're going to be launching into our uh, our main topic where we've all been building some armies hypothetically yes. although it'd be very easy just to click the buy on the shopping cart i realized it was a really bad idea to put things in the shopping cart mm. to try and work out totals yeah because yeah, you going. get emails afterwards saying you sort of stuff in your shopping cart I would love it if, if you were drunk and you just hit buy at the end of it. <laughs> um, but but before before we, we do this, of course, we just run into it. Um, and we'll start with uh, Ken. What have you been up to, mate? <laughs> um, I've literally, as we speak, just finished painting uh, the last two uh, battalions to make up uh, my brigade. For general brigade <laughs> for my epic stuff. Ken, you gotta check this out. We, that's gonna be on the merch. We will we if people want them, we we will sort out and somehow oh sell God. logoed cravats called crack vats. We'll do that. I did try and do um um <laughs> cob pieces, but it got me an awful lot of internet history problems, <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that again. Guess what? So, uh, guess what item of clothing I'm gonna be rocking next week? Uh bowler hat. Please tell me it's a bowler hat. No, it's a, a monocle. A, a monocle. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to be a card piece. A monocle. No, no. I want to see him in a monocle and a, and a, a, a top hat. I think he just looked... He'd carry it I didn't, like, didn't I send you that photograph of me when I look unrecognisable because I'm all, I'm all done up in a cravat and a waistcoat? Yes, I do remember that. Probably. Is that, is that the one where you look like a 1930s bouncer for a casino? <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've, got, yeah I've, got, I've got short hair, no facial hair, and I look about nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got something. Sorry, Ken, dude. Ca carry on. No, that's all right. What, what, no, no, that's fine. So, yeah, I've managed to finish those. Um, and I've literally just got basin now. So that'll be... I'll be getting those done probably in the next day or two. Um, I've started working on my uh, turnip stuff. Oh, good, good, good. That, that's been centerful highlighted. Um, just, I'm probably going to paint those next week. I just want something. I managed to get a sponge at last for my wet palette. So, uh, Yorkshire Gamer has just just snapped whatever it is that he's holding <laughs> as, he, as he heard that. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, I'm going to try and paint uh, some of those up, but I'd, at the moment it's very minimal painting because hopefully, hopefully, Steve, you don't even know this yet. I'm going to exchange contracts this week, and Ooh, be really next Friday. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> next Friday, good for you, mate. I hope it does come off. Does it that mean that maybe on that month, maybe next Monday, you might not 
be no, here? No, 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 no. I reckon you'll just be in a box. You'll be in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come. I'll come live from the new gaff. Um, just me sat in an echoey room with Laura, just putting everything away, getting really angry. Yeah, you're no, well, Laura won't be there at that time because the house will be uh, empty um, for a little while. So, well, not a little while. Well, I do it up for a little bit, but um, yes. So yeah, it'd just be me. Um, going on a tethered signal as well because I won't have any internet there. Shit, I didn't even think of that. No. <laughs> no. Well, there's something we should. Well, it can't be any worse than when you were in the lay by. Oh, so, yeah. uh... Yes, no, it can't be any worse than that. Again, does your new home come with a man cave? It actually comes with two. So it comes with the loft, which I'm probably going to do use for choo choo trains, uh, and also a spare bedroom at the back, which will be hobby room. That's what he's saying now, but Laura has other plans, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, there will, there will, there will. The, the promise is dead. It, it, it will all go. Don't worry. Yeah, it'll all go. It'll all go. And then you end up just sitting next to the fridge in a little room <laughs> with no <inside. laughs> Um, brilliant. Um, so that's cool. Uh, Dom, what have you been up to? Oh, blimey. I say every week I haven't done much. I genuinely haven't done much this week because I don't know why, really. A couple of nights I didn't really fancy painting, so um, I didn't force it. But I did finish off um, these Greek cavalry uh, for my Second World War army. Um, they're Empress miniatures, and I really like them. They were good fun to do. It's a bit oh, shiny, the picture. But I, do, um, I am like you've been putting up quite a bit of Empress, like because you, you you keep you shared the new products that they put up, and then you put these yeah. up, and it's just it's just increasing my want to go and buy some. They are um, really not. I'm so impressed with them. Um, the figures I've had from them are really really good, and I like you. I think I've been looking at thinking, mm, what can I justify buying next from Empress? Um, but yeah, no. So I don't know whether they're entirely correct. Um, so I was looking online for what Greek. Um, cavalry looked like in the Second World War, and surprisingly, nobody makes them because they're quite well. I suppose it's not surprising; it's not a major nation. But um, someone said they look very like, very much like the Italians. So those are actually Italian cavalry uh, who joined joined the Greek army instead. Um, so that's what I did, and then also I worked on this, which is um, a fifteen ah. mil model of Placino. Is it resin? Um, is that... It is. It's a three D printed, actually. That is very cool. Where's that from? Uh, on eBay somewhere. I'll have to send you the link um, <laughs> yeah, because I cool. it, and actually it's really nice. They come in all different bits. So um, this makes me very stuff. happy, Dom. This makes me very happy. Oh, it's a fifteen <laughs> mil one. So yeah, and uh, the the base is um, is actually just um, uh, I think it's. I can't remember. I think it's called tiling. It's a doll's house, basically doll's house um, paper. So I'm gonna. Uh, I've got to get a piece of board that fits it perfectly and just stick it all down pr properly. But yeah, that will be useful for the General Darmay 15 mils that we seem to be doing a lot at the moment. So that is okay. it. That's all I've done this week. Apart from yeah. I'm, I'm halfway through my um, uh, sorting out my uh, Italian Wars project and. and setting them up and getting them ready. That's probably what's taken most of the time this week. So no painting, which is wow. fine. There you go. Wow. Even you even had an extra day this week to get stuff done. Cause it's, I know. Uh... <laughs> well, I, I, <laughs> wow. I sat and drank red wine and watched June last night. So there was no painting then either. So there you go. That's uh, a, <laughs> that, that's a, uh... That's a bit Who are you? Right. What have you done with Dom? Oh, all right, <laughs> now, all right. I like this. Steve, I know you've done stuff, dude. So I've had I've seen the pictures I've, of it. So. I've had quite a productive week for a change. You know what? You have some of those weeks where you just you just paint, or you build, or you do something. That's what my last week was. Um, some of it's a bit left field. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Go just for it. a little bit. Um, that's what I'm going to start off with the normal, well, the semi-normal stuff first, wherever I can find it. Uh, I mentioned last week I started my um, painting my epic six mil. Where's the picture gone? Oh, Mine's hidden it. <laughs> no, here it is. Okay, uh, first, uh, first one. There we go. Look at that. Hey. Six millimeter vehicles based. I love that, the fact you based Ken, them. Did, that did, does the basing on that annoy you? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, well, it, it does add, like it. 
Well, you based you based your six mil goals, didn't you? Yeah, but not my tanks. Oh no! What, like, what you based your chariots? <laughs> yeah, but they're not. They're not mechanized vehicles. They're one. They're two horsepower. <laughs> two horsepower. <laughs> No, as soon as I painted them, I thought they, they're, they're missing something. I need to add Green something. Bluff. Hmm. So I just, I just used a bit. Of, I just, it's basically how I, how I base infantry, but reduced That's to cork, six. cork, isn't it? It's cork, yeah. Bastard. Still looks good. <laughs> um, so once they were done, I... Uh, what, what did I do after that? Weird shit, probably. I did some weird shit. Did some weird shit. Did you have to do some weird shit to sort of like break the? No, no, shit? no. I did some um, uh, bolt action stuff. God, I can never find. Where have my pictures gone? I don't know. They probably bugged it up. I haven't touched your pictures. Promise. Is it the? Is it the yeah, I can see them. I can see them. I'm yeah. Like, what are you trying to put up? Are you trying to put up the thing that's on tracks? No, no. It was um, up the thing that's on that's on a scaffold. Oh, I might not. I might not upload the picture. Oh well. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's your problem. No, I, 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 I feel like I feel like he was accusing us there. No, no. So uh, on, Saturday, on, on on Saturday, I had one of those days where I I started this at about ten o'clock in the morning, and I just drank Vimto and listened to metal all day. And that's what and, happens. That's what happens. And, and this is what happens when you spend an entire day. That is so cool. That is so, really, so really cool, good. dude. Nice so worry, mate. that is my M10 command tank. I, I actually started the build on Friday, on Thursday. Then I kit bashed the crew on Friday, and then I just did the, the painting, which is all day Saturday. <laughs> Who sings that song? We do on Wednesday and on Friday and Saturday. Craig so, David. Oh God. Oh God. Um, oh, God. So it's so sad now. Walking <laughs> upon. You can never um, ever forgive, be forgiven for that, mate. That you know probably not. what Greg David is. You and should see my wife's CD collection. That's why I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so they're the, they're the two completed M10 so far with kit bashed crew and lots of stowage. And they have been an absolute joy to build. I've loved every minute of them. So I love the and, fact that that stowage just adds so much extra armor to the to the tank. Oh, it's just that, so... that stowage kit that I bought to the resin one. It was about nine quid, that, but forty five pieces, and it is and so good. That's the that's the official warlord stowage kit, is it? No, no, no. no. It's uh, from a company right. called um, Red Dog UK. Okay, I found it on eBay. They're nine quid, forty five pieces, and it's really, really good as well. Um, wow. So after after I got the epic and the bolt action out of the way, ah, yes. <laughs> Weird shit. Weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, I have to put this up before I lose it. Ken, you've got a, uh, you've got a, uh, a friend, Simon YZM10 <laughs> on the base. Because uh, Simon, if you haven't caught up on the thing here, there's there's a, a controversy between, um, <laughs> but it's really between Steve and Ken about whether or not you base vehicles, and then Dom just bases them to annoy Ken. Basically, is the uh, that's it, that's it, it's basically everything to annoy me. I've worked it out now. <laughs> they all need to be based, uh, but yeah. That, so this that's so cool. This is my it's called it's it's called the tall man, but it's supposed to be when you use it in games of turnip. It's um it's something to instill fear. Um, oh, it certainly does that to me. Bloody hell! And, and hopefully, yeah. <laughs> is it stationary on the battlefield? It is. Yeah, it just sits. All right. That's, that's so <laughs> cool. That's just what. Um, I really hope because I know obviously he he's working on the rule book and he's releasing new versions. So at some he point these, he's going to want to he, yeah he wants to include some models in there. And I and uh, for seeing how open he is to like yeah. collaborate, you know, communities, I really really think that you should like. I know that you you tag turn it twenty eight in your things, but I, but he'd be mad if he didn't use like some of this stuff. It, it really really is great. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just really enjoying it. It's just such. A, I know I, I have a bit of um back and forth people on, on like uh, social media. Some uh, potato people. <laughs> I'd have, I'd have loved to have sculpted a potato peeler. Um, but I keep saying to people the the same thing: it's the creative freedom. It's yeah. There's, there's no, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing right. If you can, if you can find it, use it, whatever. That is this. This is built. So the bits and pieces is 
It's a TT combat gallows, but without the gallows. There's Perry Miniatures, there's Warlord, there's, fi <laughs> there's Fire Forge. Can we give can we give him a super that's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um yeah, so Warlord Perry, Fire Forge, um just just bits and pieces. I, I used so much Vallejo mud on that base, it was unbelievable. Um but yeah, just such a an enjoyably good thing to work on. I, I thoroughly enjoy every minute of it. It it, re it really really is quite cool. And like oh, I don't know, does he is he where's he based? Whereabouts is he based? Max, Max Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald, I think London, I think. It might be worth seeing if he's uh, if he's around for a stream one day and Dom can Dom could ask him. Say, <laughs> why, why? Why? I just do the whole stream go. Why? But why? No, why? <laughs> Isn't that a nice comment from why? <laughs> what goes on in the mind of a man that drinks <laughs> Bimto, listens to metal, wears a cravat, and then produces something like that execution scaffold? It's best not to think about it. No. Oh dear. Well, I try. That is, that is very cool. I got um, I got all my stuff done over the weekend. To be fair, and I say all that stuff, it was just a case of finishing a few things off because I've um, I've got my little turn it. 28 i say little i've got my turn <laughs> i'm working on i just needed some room on the desk but um because i'm now uh currently filming the uh the videos for the uh sort of the, i say the final part the next stage of the castle um which involves having like having a lot of room and being able to just like cut things up and stick them on and then swear and break them off again uh, i was like right i need to actually you know clear some stuff off my desk um so but so, so last wednesday uh, I had a game uh, we were playing Test of Honor around my friend's house, and uh, nice. he put together this cool Ooh. looking board, which was um, which is a, um, a, a lot of fun. So it was actually me and one other guy against uh, against my mate Kev. Full, um, I think is it twenty? Is it twenty? Yeah, twenty four point game, uh, which is really the largest they suggest you go to. And um, this is the moment where my free samurai spearman had run to the top of the bridge to recover the samurai warrior who had his head smashed through the bridge by a man with a giant club, uh, who's <laughs> at the at, at the bottom of the bridge because we in test of honor you um when you draw out the the fate tokens um uh, which are a bit like um i can't remember what you call them uh, what they call it is it tiffins in in other games a tiffin card or something like that in um, the tiffin and sharp practice yeah. Sharp uh, practice, yeah yeah um and um the croc card in musket and tomahawks when you pull out the first two you effectively get an event or you get to draw a skill card so we drew this skill card um and it basically said your leader has to go and duel the other leader and both of your leaders are crap when they duel anybody else. So basically, it forces your <laughs> leaders to go and find each other. And we met yes. on the bridge, and our our leader basically had his head smashed through the bridge with a jumping <laughs> club. Um, and then I and then we spent the rest of it. It was it was a thoroughly good game, and um, we introduced someone new to it. And he's gone out and just and bought a faction straight away because he's, he's enjoyed it so much. So, um, so that was a game I had. Um, and then I. Uh, Finished. So last week I was painting um, some more uh, Normans up as First Crusaders from Stronghold Terrain. So I did these guys um, who are all wielding double-handed weapons. Um, and <clears throat> I think I think these were originally uh, released for Saga, so you'd have a one-point uh, half-guard unit. Mm -hmm. um, so I've, I've just done one of them on my bases, and I, I think it was Dom I was talking to you, and I think what I'm going to do is just my Crusaders, I'll basically have this base and then effectively attach it to a unit and that will therefore just indicate that that unit's got some double-handed weapons i know they, they they had we know they had big old axes and swords that they mix in and they probably didn't just have units of guys with double-handed weapons but it's just like a little upgrade potentially you could just chuck in there just for you know why not so they, but they are, are really models aren't they they are, are lovely models and i've carried on doing mixing up the, the standard norman um shields with the crusader shields just to um you know just well basically just not have it just with crosses everywhere because i really like the the standard norman shields as well i think they look really cool so um so they were a lot of fun to play, especially that guy at the front with the scale in the the front left yeah that is oh, um he's that really really nice to paint i think these are sold through foot sore they're quite took quite a long time to arrive um because they come from germany um so um uh they have to i think they only order a few packs in and then have to sort of wait quite a long time for restocks so um <clears throat> sorry but they were cool um and i finished another base of 15 mil lunch next because <laughs> um, um 
I've done, I've painted, I've already done one base. And I painted half half of another base. So I just thought, oh, I might as well just, just finish those off. So I've, I've painted them all up. These are Blue Moon minis. So um, they're uh, they're very, very nice. And then the flag, I think I bought at Salute or Warfare. I can't remember which one. Um, so that just went on there. But yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. And then the I did the, um, the pikes are bristles from a yard broom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> apart from apart from the bloody uh banner which is not so if you go on top of it and to, like if you think you're going to go on top of it and push them down you're not you're still going to get one through your hand so uh, i didn't really <laughs> think about that at the time but yeah um the so circle so i need to get some more of those and then um finally because they basically are so easy to paint and recently i've been quite enjoying uh games of um star wars legion so uh i painted up because they're ridiculously simple uh a unit of battle droids so hey. i did that in an uh oh roger hour, roger about yeah about an hour mainly also is because my daughter loves them um, she well, um really, really what paint did you use it's um it's just xenophil and skeleton horde uh and then um while the skeleton horde is still wet you go i just put some water on a brush and then i took the skeleton hoard off on the highlights like on the tops of the heads and the tops of the shoulders yeah um and then the weapons are black templar and then just use some chipping like i like get some foam with some chip um like silver paint to put chipping on the blasters and then um i put oh what's the typhus corrosion i yeah. put that on a little sponge and then just chip over chip over them and then add the markings so these guys with the green markings they are apparently battle droid marines I was just looking. I just wanted to paint some. So I already done some red ones and I'd done some standard ones. So I went and found some green ones because either that or like blue. And apparently the blues are pilots or something. So I didn't know if you'd actually have like a unit of pilots. I don't know. I thought the green looked cool. So uh, I put them on there. So and then the yellow is always the, the leaders again, apparently. So, um, so yeah, so they'll be good. So we'll be using those in um, some upcoming games, um, but uh, which is again a lot of fun. So it sounds like me and Steve had slightly more productive weeks than Dom for a change. I know. Mm, sure. You I did. Know. Put me to shame. Mark it in your calendar, folks. We'll never see the likes again. Yeah, okay, no, go Dom's going to go away game. now and make a, make a point of whatever <laughs> army he's about to suggest. He's going to take it away and paint it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the next one. We're all going to put these army suggestions up and say, and you can buy it all, and in two years' time, you might have it painted, unless you're Dom, in which case it'll be a week. So, uh, yeah, think, you know. Yeah, yeah. Half a week, maybe. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm, I'm currently working on, I'm, um, I don't know how worse it's going to come out, but of course, uh, Dom's posted his video. Um, if you guys haven't heard, um, uh, uh, Don, who's in the in the chat, um, who uh, helps organize uh, Adepticon um, in the States, has um, kindly uh, contacted us and basically asked us if we would like to do something on uh, to work with their charity auction, which goes to the uh, American Battlefield Trust. Uh, so we said yes, and we uh, between us, we've decided to do a painting relay. So if you haven't seen it, go over to Dom's channel, because he's done episode number one, basically, where um, the, the guys from Adepticon have basically donated a entire four-point saga force of, uh, from the Crusaders. Um, and D uh, Dom assembled them and base-coated them. And then he's uh, put them in a post to me. And I am currently working on the highlights and the details. And then I'm going to pack them off to Steve, who is going to work his magic and do final touches and basing and then mail them to the States to take part in this um, this charity auction. So um, it's just been, been a big bit of fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm currently, currently, currently working on them and um, trying to, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going. It's, it's, it's trying to find, remembering that you don't have the same necessarily the same paints as me. Is trying to find things that that, that sort of I like can highlight that aren't like well, wild, close you know? enough. I'm sure. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, should we get onto our our main topic of the evening, which um, actually comes from a question that we were sent in by um, Barry Robinson, and he just said it is a question which he was looking at starting a system, and he just said hypothetically, if you had 200 pounds and you were just going to spend it on miniatures 28 millimeter um what system would you do what would you what would you buy to get it into like a starter army or, or a force um you could go under by 10 quid or over by 10 quid so um what's up you didn't mention the 28 millimeter part i did i literally yeah, just said 28 did. millimeter literally yeah. just said 28 millimeter yeah just then but not earlier oh. it's fine I've, I've done 28 mil 
if you go back, you if I you go back through all our messages and you look into the description of the video, it says twenty eight million. Anyway, well, it's you, the proper you, scale. That's what you're doing. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, the idea is, is I thought, well, we'll take this a little bit further and. Um, it's a bigger city. Don's just put, I go with 15 millimeters. He's been reliably assured that 28 millimeter is dead. <laughs> well, <laughs> so we're all done. So, why, why are we working on this? So, so this is the idea. So, we weren't, it isn't a case of like, you know, what, you know, how, where can we find the best way? It was build a workable army and anything you need to go with it. The only thing we also decided was that we had to get a rule book to go with it. Yeah. So, if someone was coming in and they said, I've got 200 pounds, here's 200 pounds, spend it for me, build me an army um, for this period. And the, I think we should start with, I think we should start with Steve. And Steve, why don't you surprise everybody and tell them what, what period you're. <laughs> You're doing so 28. Is that what you went for? You could spend no, no, no. I, I get from 28 quid a uh, 200 quid rather. <laughs> it, should come as no, it should come as no surprise that I've chosen um 28 mil French infantry for black powder, um, with as many, <laughs> with as many, many drummers French, as you can get, as many <laughs> drummers as I can cram in <laughs> to 200 pounds because I just love 28 mil black powder, it's great. Um, just <laughs> before we get into this, Jason has just commented. It's funny that the guy who doesn't like to go out has to be last in the queue and has to post it. Yeah, <laughs> it is. He's also the guy who who <laughs> isn't the biggest fan of metal models. He's going to have to varnish them and he's going to have to go and post it and pay for it. Jason, don't you think that's why we chose it that way around? <laughs> I will not be leaving. To, I'm going to get a delivery firm to come and pick it up. I take it. <laughs> oh, I just, he's going to shout at some kid that's going past. I hey, take. <laughs> you're going towards the post office. You're... He's going to be Ebenezer Scrooge like on Christmas Day. Hey, you there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> In his cravat. <laughs> In his cravat. <laughs> and his uh, so uh, so what, what we're going to do, we're going to roll through each of our, our choices, starting with Steve. Um, if you've got some comments on him, any ideas, just, just post them up. It'd be really interesting to see what other people would say. It's not an idea. You know, I know some you know, skirmish games can go out to spend 25 quid, 50 quid, but we've got 200 to spend. So why not? Yeah. Um, why we're not? also we'll also post up our um, little army army lists in the group um, afterwards so people can actually see uh, what we spent if anyone actually actually does want to use, like, use this as a, a start of idea for going and getting an army. So and this is Steve. just our ideas, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's it's just, this is just our, our, our ideas, yeah. It's yeah. other ways yeah. of doing it. Should, it should be a massive disclaimer across the screen. Massive. Yeah, we are not, cannot be held responsible for uh, <laughs> <laughs> anything. Any crack purchases made late at night. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Go for it then, Steve. Okay, so I, it, again, it, it, it shouldn't come as a, a surprise. I chose bolt action. Well, I, I say I chose Martin said, Steve, you want to do bolt action? Because I think that was the the natural thing to do. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I've built quite a few bolt action armies, one or two. Um, so, but I've never, I've never gone out and just spent 200 pounds on one. It's always been, you know, bits and pieces. So, where do I start? Um, I, the, I should, I should, um, the caveat here is that I haven't used third-party stores. That's cheating. No, it's not. <laughs> so for the, from the pricing side, I've gone completely off the Warlord Games web store just to keep the prices consistent. Uh, but if you were to use third-party and you know, independent retailers, you could probably get this for a lot less. Um, but it's more just showing what you can get for your money. So... Where do we start? Well, bolt action rule book. Um, right, thirty quid. Cool. That much, That's right? the A4 one, isn't it? You can't buy the A5, can you? Oh well, yeah, it had to be a physical rule book as well, didn't it? Physical rule book, yeah. yeah. So I, I just got that. I've, I've opted for the thirty pound hardback version two um, book. So, so you're off to apply it. You've got the rule book, and you read the rule. You think, damn, this is a damn fine game. I'd like to <laughs> 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 ah, fucking hell. I would <laughs> I would like, that's going to his head. I would like um to indulge in some more of this. So what nation do you choose? So what nation do you think I've gone for? Um American the Germans by me, Joe. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna throw one out. I'm gonna say Finnish just because uh Maybe you're doing oh, that's, a bit uh, that is that is dirtily good, but I would I'm going to say Americans. No, nah, I've gone for Germans. 
<laughs> so you just you've got your rule book and you think right i, I need I've, I've chosen my 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 nation um so i'm going to need their book so with bolt action you can use a list that come with the bolt action book but they're more of a starter point you, you ideally you need your nation's book so for germany you've got armies of germany right you certainly have so that's another that's 20 pounds so already we're a quarter way through we're at 50 quid for the rule book and the armies of Germany book. Um, there is a way to save some money, Steve, oh without God. using third party for free. For free! What? Uh, do you know that armies of Germany book? Yeah. You, you can do the list now online on their website, can't you, for free? Or you can, or you can just, yeah. or you update, just, it gets updated now. Or you could just use um, Bolt Action Easy Army. That's a good Oh, yeah, or Easy Army, yeah. A good yeah, resource. Yeah, um, but I'm just thinking for the completeness. Because I'm, oh, I'm in yeah. my, I, I'm, I'm channeling my inner Peter Cushing, aren't I? So I'm going for the complete, <laughs> the complete. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm going to be on the floor later playing with some toy soldiers. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the next. Sorry, the, mate. The, Sorry. The, the third yeah. choice is a bit of an indulgence. You don't need these, um, but I've put them in anyway, and it's your order dice. Ooh, so, okay. yeah, yeah. for people not familiar oh, with yeah. for people not familiar with bolt action, the way the the activation mechanism works is that for every unit, individual uh, weapon, team, vehicle, etc., you get one order dice. These go in a bag. You pull them out randomly to determine you know who 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 moves, who does what. And on those dice are the six orders that you can do in bolt action, but you don't. You don't need the dice. You can use, you know, chits. You can use tiddlywinks. You can use you can D6s. Use D6s. Um, I just think it brings an extra, a nice visual element uh, to the game. It's like when you watch Travis playing Chain of Command and he's got his massive, great, big Chain of Command dice. I think it just gives a nice a nice feel to the game. Ooh, yeah. So my, my third choice is order dice. Again, don't need them, but it makes the game look pretty. And that's what we want. Mm. Okay, so we've got we've got we're two books down and we're a, a set of dice down. And and how much are we in now? What we're, we're in now? Like sixty-five quid. Sixty-seven <laughs> quid. And you haven't bought any figures. Okay. I got bought. I bought no figures. So on, on we come to the the good stuff. So with if you're choosing a German army, thankfully there's there's loads of different options you can go for. Um, so you've got the bog standard Grandier box. You've got the Blitzkrieg box for early war. You've got the SS box. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It yeah. is true. I didn't doubt him for a second. Uh, you've got the Winter German box, and you've got Deutsche Afrika Corps. All really, really good starter boxes. So the one I chose is the Grenadier box, because I, I just think it's a fairly old box. Now some of the, 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 the bits and pieces in there are, are quite old, but it's a great kit. And those so, grenadiers are lovely and versatile. That's one of the main ones you use, isn't it, when you're kit bashing? Grenadiers, yeah. It is a good box. It's a great it's a box. Very, because you can box. use them for standard grenadiers. You can make Brandenburgers. You can use them in North Africa. Um, it's just it's just such a really, really good versatile box. And in there, you get you get a Stug, you get a Puma, you get a Pack 40, you get a, a mortar, you get a medium machine gun. Um all the good stuff's in there. And like most bolt action starter boxes, it's designed to give you a thousand points, which okay. is which so it, it gives you the army list on the side of the box. And so it's it's good that you've just sat down, you've got your box, you've already got a thousand points, you just gotta paint it. Unless you don't want to paint it. Or you want grey plastic on the tabletop, but that's a discussion for another episode. So I've gone <laughs> I've gone for the Grenadier starter box. Now, I was actually torn between that and the Winter German box because, again, two great kits, and I think you get a, a lot of um, of good stuff in them. So I've gone for the Grenadier starter, starter box. Now, that is going to come in at £100. But I, it is worth it for what you get in there. So you get you get um, loads of infantry. You get enough infantry for, th for um, three sections. You get a couple of vehicles, you get an, uh, an anti-tank piece, um, loads and loads of cool stuff, never £100. And it, and if, if, if you're so so inclined to do so, you don't have to buy anything else ever again. You could just play with that 1,000 points, 
and you go it might get a bit boring but you, you, you're good to go it's a great starting point you can then add to it you know 250 points here 500 points there the next thing you know uh, you spent three and a half years painting a six thousand point german army like that. <laughs> is it a fairly competitive army steve yeah, yeah. yes uh, what i like about playing as germans in bolt action is they they play equally good in defense as well as attack so if you want to if you really want to be aggressive and take those objectives or uh, go after another the um the mission you're trying to achieve the way you can tool those 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 um those sections up uh, you get the extra extra dice for your lng you get the nco rule so you, you may not lose an nco if, if the nco is killed um okay they're just a, 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 i mean I know, I know some people call them a bit cheesy because they, they can be really really powerful um with with the options that they have and the, the sheer amount of of access to to vehicles and tanks and weapons um and flamethrowers because that's that's the best game it, the best weapon in bolt action is the flamethrower um, it's scary if you can land it. Well. If you if, if you can land it, you, yes. it's a it's a bullet magnet that every every single thing that your opponent has, they just go like there. They go whoop, right like that. But they are they are good. I think I think um, they they may not come in that kit. But you do what you do. I do just kit bash one because they're brilliant. Okay, so right away we've got we've got our bolt action rule book. We've got armies of Germany. We've got our funky grey order dice. We've got a grandier starter box. And you know that's that's the, the kind of the nuts and bolts. You, you're good to go there. Find opponents. You can have some really good thousand point games of bolt action. But one thing the box is missing is a tank, and we all love tanks, don't we? Gotta have a tank, right? Gotta have but a tank. It, so correct me if I'm wrong. You can only take one tank, can't you? Yes. In the army, in the army. Ooh, so it well, in the, in your reinforced platoons, you can take one tank. There are some specialist um, theater selectors. Where you can take multiple tanks and multiple vehicles. Um, there is nothing stopping you though having two reinforced platoons, is there? No, well, no, no, there isn't. You can you can no. have two yeah. two reinforced platoons. So for the tank option, I've gone. Guess okay. Guess what one I've gone for? Hands of four. Hands of four. Yeah. Ooh. This is a good um, tank. Stug. It's a tank right. destroyer, but we'll let you off. Oh. And you get one in the box. Anyway. <laughs> you don't need another one. <laughs> is it on tracks? But it uses yeah. that slot, doesn't it? It doesn't. It, it doesn't slot. have a turret. No, it, it uses it, that it, slot. It, it, no, it, it's classed as um, oh, uh, oh, self. Oh, self yeah, no, 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 it's fine. No, 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 fuck you all. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just why have you got a break in it? I just want to just just shut that out there. <laughs> uh, I I will pay someone two hundred pounds to take my six mil samurai. <laughs> <laughs> take them, paint them, or take them and drop kick them down the road. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I, I just take them as, away. as long as they're away from you. Just yeah, just so they're away. They're sitting here in this sort of the unit I have here in these little drawers, and there's that's room that I could be putting. I don't know, like cocktail sticks or something in that's going to be useful to me. <laughs> so, um, happy about that. so the tank option, I'm going to defer to my my learned friends here on my my left. Uh, I don't wait for the Panzer Four because it's yeah, a great, it's so great. Good. Or, Great all-round tank, heavy heavy gun in it, Steve. Heavy yeah. anti-tank gun in it. Heavy anti-tank yeah. gun. So it's a, it's a and points-wise, it's not as insane as the Tiger, which costs no. six hundred and sixty-six points of veteran, oh, Jesus. Um, which you don't want really. Oh, I mean, and, and even the um, the King Tiger is really expensive as well. I, I prefer the Panther, mate. To be fair, when it comes to heavy tank, um, yeah, I'd, I'd always take a Panther. If, if, if someone said to me, right, you've got you've got to get one of the one of the heavy big cats. I'd, I'd, I'd go for the panther. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't, I don't plus, like it, plus, it looks sexy as well. It is. It's a sexy looking tank. I can't <laughs> believe I'm having this conversation about sexy tanks. <laughs> Sex, sexy tank, yeah. I'm gonna have to you're in that me. cravat, Steve. I'm gonna have to, nothing wrong with a cravat. It's, it's, I'm, like I said, channeling my Peter Cushing. Um, mm. So, yeah, so pa <laughs> Panzer IV is the, the second to last. So, at this point, um, we haven't got much money left. We're up to so uh, what we are? 30, 50, 60, 7, 167, 187 pounds. <sighs> wow. We've got, we've got 13 quid to play with. So this did this. It's not something I would do because people know that I kit bash everything. So I wouldn't do this. But yeah, I think that if, if, <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you're starting off, 
the last thing you should probably pick up is the uh, the HQ blister set. Yeah. For seven pounds seventy five, gives you an officer, gives you a forward observer, and gives you a medic as well. Um, yeah. So you can fill it. You can fill good value that, isn't it? It's good value. Yeah. I put the, the metal though. So, uh, uh, but for seven pounds seventy five, you, you can fill four of those HQ slots with just what comes in that in that blister. So that gives us a grand total. T. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a little bit uh, a bit late for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I should I should caveat this with that I mostly play late war bolt action, so forty four onwards. Um, yeah, so not thirty nine. <laughs> I'd like to. I've got I've got I've, I've got a um, a French army that I've never used for for early war. Never used it. Uh, before you go, so Rogue Trooper kind of said he goes thirteen pounds spare to buy some cork for basing. Could you just do that by buying some wine to get the corks? See, no. Oh. I, the thing is, I don't use. Um, wine corks for my cork i use table mats because you can it, you can get it in bigger sheets yeah and it's cheaper um, and it's cheaper yeah. i mean I, I use i use corks to put figures on luckily my girlfriend drinks this shitty carver stuff so i get loads and loads of corks from it it was four uh, for a quid in b&m the other day steve when i was in there table mats table yeah. mats <laughs> what, what, what you meant carver i was yeah, like, carver. Cool. No, no one surprised cool, cool, four, four table mats for a quid all right that, that, that stuff's like piss water it really is um so Go there on, we are Andy, what what is your grand total price 194 pounds and 75p now that may sound quite an outlay but with that you could happily game with that and never buy another model as for, for your force if, if you're happy to just play the same force over and over again you've got all your rule books you've got your dice and you've got a pretty solid mm. um amount of figures to to really put together a viable list um yeah i mean if you it, that all in that would give you round about about 13 50 1400 points but if you're playing games of seven fifty thousand, you know you could swap things in and out you wouldn't have to play the same list week in week out um yeah. but it would give you really good good diversity and yeah you, you've got all your rule books uh, what the one thing i would say is you don't need the order dice no you could buy a phone um, for our team for that i'm gonna have to put up kids because fucking panthers are sexy but if you're going out on the pool the age panthers are guaranteed to attract your future life partners i'll never have to put that premise to the test <laughs> brilliant uh but yeah that, that's me so that I'll, I'll post it up later in the in the um the facebook group but that gives you a if you if you're new to bolt action and you've got the 200 pound cash on the hip to spare on on the whole caboodle that would get you a great army all the rule books and an army that's really fun to paint as well mm -hmm. um, so if you were someone's personal shopper and they they said this i want to get into this bolt action i've been hearing about and i want you to go and do it for me here's my budget that's what you would go and yeah. go and get them i would do that yeah okay cool cool man Cool. And I hope they be, oh. and, 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 and secretly, I would hope they weren't happy, so I could have it. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. I mean, no, there's no that that that's it. No, spot on. All right, then who who wants to go next? Okay. Ken. All right, then yeah, go on, then Ken. Right. All right, we'll start. You know, go for yeah. it. So, Ken, what was your chosen period? If if anyone had to ask, but it's not going to be what. Well, I'll go. On. You go for it. Go yeah, yeah. So, so my chosen period was obviously Napoleonic's and but i haven't gone well i haven't gone with what people might think so let's get it up we told him it had to be 28 mil so yeah it has to be 28 okay so i've gone for 200 quid so we've gone for general d'arme because okay so getting good. started in general d'arme with yes. 200 pounds so Again, people will wonder why i haven't picked black powder um because for Napoleonics now, I play these rules or General de Brigade. Because I don't, Dom, Dom, I think Dom might back me up on this one. Is it's got a little bit more flavor. Haven't you played, haven't you, haven't you played, played like this two like games? Three, He's played three two games, games yeah. No, it's it's a normal game, three. isn't it? <laughs> is it <three? laughs> Whatever it is, it's got, it's got more flavor, I think, for Napoleonic period. I think it just adds a few extra rules than what Black Powder doesn't have. Mm -hmm. But it's still simple enough to be able to just go through the turns like, yeah, this bit next, that bit next, bang, 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 bang. And it's quick enough to be able to play. It's like 
Um, we were down the club uh, Friday, weren't we? And we were showing mm-hmm. Alec and Spike, who had never played the game before, on the rules. Yeah. But we were. But I'd players. only played it. Yeah, and I don't. Yeah, oh yeah, free, wouldn't it? And I'd only um, and I'd only played once before. But I was already sitting there thinking, right, this is the next bit. This is the next bit. We could go quicker. Um, yes, yes, he is. <laughs> and maybe the is person get into a cult. <laughs> Not even a, a demo cult, game. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a, a participation. Now I just, I've, I've read the rule book. I, have, I've actually read the rule book all the way through with this. Um, cool. And really, really like it. Really, really, really do like it. And um, right. the, I've gone for the token combo here because the tokens are a nice little add-on. Um, and that's 36 quid. So you could get the rule book on its own. They do do a PDF version. I think it's only like four or five quid for the PDF. So it's cheap as chips, really. Um, so, yeah. So I've gone with that for the rules. So, figures. We're going to go French. Of course we are. Boop. What to buy? Okay, so for General Darme, you, you work on a brigade base. <laughs> can, can I ask you a question before we get into this, yes. please, right? This is the most prep you've done for a stream in possibly the last, like, four or five months. Is, <laughs> is, really is, is, it, is it because it had PowerPoint? You could do a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> no, Are you that guy? Does. No, no, no. I've done one, but why, why was no, why was it's nowhere near? It's, it's a really, it's a really enjoyable game, yeah. Yeah, it really no, is. no, it's not turned out. I just think, it, I just think it's aced it that that you yeah. actually because because I've done PowerPoint, but I just use Paint. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas you, you, you've done it, it's just aced. Yeah, I even added animations, but I was disappointed because Streamyard doesn't let you do the animations. So I, I feel <laughs> no, I found that out. I was disappointed with that as well. But I uh, before it's, it's reminded me of that moment moment in the Wolf of Wall Street when they go, "Sell me this pen." I feel like I'm about I'm attending some kind of like seminar where I'm going to be taught sales <laughs> tactics. Go for it, Ken. Go for it. Yeah, no, no, that's cool. That's cool. So I'll, I'll just point out the main reason to for the difference is every other like say black powder era sort of uh, period like ACW, um, you know, uh, I don't know, fucking, I, I, my mind's gone blank now. American Civil War, um, uh, the American War of Independence, all that sort of stuff. I'll use black powder for. But because I've focused mainly on Napoleonics, I wanted a rule set that I could play that was more crunchy towards Napoleonics. So that's why I've gone with this. And it, and it is a bit more crunchy. And that's what I've always wanted. And I've found it now. And I'm really happy. So General Dame works in a brigade sort of format. So order a battle for the French, OK? So for I'm just going to do Waterloo just to, just to, just to go out, OK? Just because I like Waterloo. That's just something I like. So the fir- the French um, fir- French First Corps, um, the First Infantry Division, for example, okay, is made up of uh, the First Brigade, the Second Brigade, and a, a division of uh, artillery. Okay, so mm-hmm. in the First Brigade there are four battalions of line infantry, and in the Second Brigade there are four battalions of line infantry, and for the artillery. Uh, you've got six pounder guns and you've got some howitzers as well. Okay, that's important to remember that for the artillery. There's also a train uh, squadron for, I think that's cavalry, isn't it? That's some sort of cavalry, but I can't add it. Some sort of cavalry as well. But that's the whole brigade. Okay. Uh, sorry, the whole division. So there's two brigades there. Okay. So that would, that would technically be a force if you wanted to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That you could use that as a force. Um, or you could do two divisions. It all works up in divisions, okay? But it works at brigade level. So you command a brigade at a time. So if I wanted the first brigade to move, I would roll a dice to see if they activate. Um, if they did activate, happy days, I can move each battalion separately. If they didn't activate, I couldn't I couldn't move them. So I'd have to roll for the second brigade. Um, and again, they didn't, they didn't. They activate vice versa. But the cool thing about this game is what I've always wanted to do is it incorporates aide de comps, which mm-hmm. I think is really cool. So at the start of the game, your order of battle or whatever you've got will give you a certain amount it, of aide de comps. It, yeah. Sorry, sorry. It just I think we said this last week, but I can't remember what the answer is. This is the same system as Pickett's Charge, more or less, isn't it? It's more the less. same author. Yeah. More it's or the less. same author, is it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. that happens in there as well. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So so you yeah, so you roll for your aide de comps at the start, okay. So those aide de comps grant you special things. So they might be re-rolls, um, they might allow you to have an artillery uh barrage, so more cannon the more um shots on your cannon. But the cool thing about it is you have to declare what you're gonna do with those aide de comps. So for example, it will take if I wanted to do a barrage on my cannons, 
um, to give me some extra dice. What I'd have to do is I'd have to put two aide de comps down, okay? Um, and right. say, I'm going to use these for an artillery barrage. But if I fail to do my order check or my 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 roll to see if they become active, I can't then use one of those aide de comps for a re-roll. So I'd be buggered anyway. Um, okay. So I wouldn't be able to do my artillery barrage if that makes if that makes sense, yeah? Yes, yeah. So you have to, yeah, so you do that. But miniature-wise, I have gone with a mix, as you guys can probably see. So what we'll start off with is basically you've got a brigade in, in the uh, Black Powder French Star Army Waterloo campaign, okay? So you've got the four infantry um, battalions. So you can, nice thing about this is, it, for the French order of battle at Waterloo, so that first division is the first and second battalions of the 54th and the first and second battalions of the 55th. Um, and what you can do with that is obviously uh, Warlord come with flags. So if you want to use the Warlord flags, and I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, that the 54th and the 55th are actually uh, they are, part of that. They're on, they're on yeah, the they're same. on it. Yeah, same shape, and yeah. you'll have the first battalion flags in there, uh, the second battalion flag, sorry, I should say, in there as well. Um, you've also got a brigade commander there. It's an officer on his own, his lonesome there, um, but you can use him as a brigade commander, but we can obviously do some bits and bobs of him, which I'll talk about in a minute. You've got one cannon there to go towards your artillery. Uh, I know they're lancers, but at a push, if you're really at a push, you could sub them in until a later date when you get a bit more money and you want to go down what specific um, cavalry unit were part of that uh, that um, brigade or division, sorry. Um, but there's a cavalry unit there as well, okay? Right, cool. so after I've done that, I would be heading over to our good friends, the Perrys. <laughs> and I'd pick up that, j just for example, these prices I've gone off are third-party retailers at Wayland Games. So you roll the dice with Wayland, and that's £73.50 um, for that that starter army french army and but i've gone full sorry wayland games again for these napoleonic stuff so i would pick up i think two boxes of these and one box of the elite infantry set um there's a reason for that and that's because there's loads of skirmishes in it and you want skirmishes so for skirmishing screens are quite important um in general the brigade uh General of the Army, I keep saying General of the Brigade. Mm -hmm. it's too, it's too, I keep saying it, don't I, Dom? I keep do. doing it. They're two separate rule sets, but they're very, they're, um, they're different. I do not help because of the scenarios we've been playing, old General of the Brigade. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, 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 Matt. <laughs> this is all strictly <laughs> hypothetical, but that's yeah, also we're good. We're assuming right? they do turn up. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so, yes, yes, yes. So. So yes, the the reason for the elite box is because you um, you get obviously the elites, so you get a lot more um, skirmishes, and you you end up having skirmisher screens in front of all like uh, in each division. So there might be, for example, in this division, there might be four bases of skirmishers you need. Okay, so you can make up four six because I base them on sixty by forties or whatever you want to do. So you've got enough skirmishers to cover that. The whole mm. the whole brigade basically, um, and you also get a command sprue, which is important because you've got two command sprues in this the two boxes that you buy for the French Napoleonic line. Okay, so you'll have enough to make another one, two, three. You you've got enough to make four because you get two standard sprues that would be the French battalion set in the elite right. box. So there is enough to make four battalions of infantry um, out of those three boxes plus extra skirmishers but what we would need to do to get that next command is go to the Perrys directly okay, and we would be having some fun with their metal ranges and what I would suggest you do is buy a set where you could even but you have a choice basically, you could buy another sprue of just a normal French Napoleon at 9 infantry with their command set which is 6 quid or you could buy a metal command set, which is like 720 if you wanted it to be a bit different, depending on your, your feeling towards metals. Um, personally, I'd probably just go... Steve, just Steve, would probably, Steve would just go, no. I'd probably go for the plastics, personally, but yeah, that's my choice. Um, so that would be all your infantry. Okay, so now we're just talking artillery. And I, for that, I would be going with the French Napoleonic uh, foot artillery from Victrix. Okay. 
reason for this is you get three guns. You've got one gun already. Okay, so that makes four guns. <laughs> what I would do is I would magnetize these guns, which I've done, and I would do it so I could swap them out for howitzers and as well as as well as cannon. Because in this in this uh, division, um, there's howitzers, so you've got the choice to you know go either or, and it's not hard to magnetize them either. And um, yeah, so I'd be going over to Victrix and buying those, and we still end up we're we're thirty three quid off. So at the moment we're at one seven seven fifty. Okay, so we still got thirty three quid. So what I would suggest you do then is go to the Perry's website and have a little look at their aide de comp figures and also their 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 commanders um, and a Bonaparte stand, and you can make it up. So it's your choice, really. You've got it's seven quid for Boney um, if you want him with the table and stuff, um, or you could get him on horseback i think as well. that's a great that's a great little kit yeah i mean there's about six different versions yeah of so many so many different there. versions of him um but i would definitely get some aid to comp figures i would go with like the commanding generals and stuff because you can use those as your brigade commanders and spice up your bases a little bit um so like you've got one brigade commander on his own there with the aid to comps you can put them with him and you can make a nice little command base up so you're going to need you're going to need at least how many brigades we've got we got two so we just want two to start with but it's always worth getting extras so i would that's how i would spend the extra money personally and uh okay. yeah so, so, what, got so what's your what's your overall total then overall total including the extras would just be under the 200 quid mark i think it's 196 something that is really not bad it, especially well for, for both because again if you're when people are buying into a game system a lot of people obviously just look at going you know like okay this is what i need for the rules and everything then they sit that's down a lot of figures up, so. as well man yeah, and I, I, was actually, got... I was actually thinking when you were running through that, I was just, I was, you know, how slow I am at painting the Napoleonics. I'd be like, yeah. I'm like, this would take me 45 years to well, paint. It's eight, <laughs> well, it's eight battalions of infantry at 24 figures each. <laughs> uh, so you're nearly 200 there. So you're two, 192 there, I think. And then you've got your cavalry is, again, that's a 12 man, that's a 12 cavalry unit. And you've got the four cannon. Yeah, there's a lot there. Um, but this is at 28, of course. But of course, I like Epic at the smaller range. Um, and I think. Moving on, right, come on then. Don't the rule, no, the rules. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for these rules, for these rules, the Epic figures will work really well. They will work really well because we worked it out that, what was it, Dom? It was like one or two of these strip bases makes a battalion frontage. Yeah, I mean, um, basically, it doesn't matter particularly because the... It's general, just got to be same frontage, isn't it? Same That's frontage, it. or roughly yeah, yeah. the same frontage. It really Would it, matter. ask a quick question for a friend, definitely not me, um, <laughs> <laughs> would it work at 6 mil? Yeah, massively. Huge. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, it would be amazing. You, the battle sizes you could have um, would be incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but that's it's a lot, you know. You're getting a lot of plastic there for the for the price. There's a lot of figures. So you're looking at what? What's it? What's in there? Twenty four. Yeah, it's like maybe two hundred fifty plus figures. And again, this is not an expensive hobby. I can assure you, because that's and I'll, I'll bring it back again. That's not even one train. <laughs> that right. No, I, I I can testify to that. <laughs> so so yes, that is that's incredible, really. And you can use that for that powder as well. And you'd have a really yeah. good game of black powder with that. Well, that's the thing. If you can, somebody you know, especially with Steve's army as well, you know, you can use the whole in chain of command. And oh yeah, yeah, as yeah well. exactly. Yeah, but the, the beauty of it as well is if you if you base um, your Napoleonics on twenty square bases, you can also do sharp practice or um, yeah, muskets and tomahawks or shakers and bayonets hmm. as it is for that period as well. So yeah, yeah. Me, me and you, me and you have different people. opinions on those forty by forties. I bloody hate them or twenties or whatever they are. <laughs> Bloody yeah, but the thing is, if you're going to play a skirmish game, you can base them on the twenty by twenties, put them on a yeah, yeah, and then put them on a tray, on yeah. a movement tray, and and um, you've got yeah. they're only slightly bigger, you know, yeah. than, than a normal forty by forty or whatever you get used. But if your opponent and you both do that, they're they're much fine anyway. Exactly, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right then, okay, awesome. All right, so Ken making the case there. I think that's that was uh, well, that was very good. So. Before we move on to Dom um, and myself, should we look at look at a few bits of news, have a little break, and then yeah, and then come so. back and then, yeah, and then yeah. come back to it? Um, we still don't have a news intro, do we? No. 
No. no. <laughs> okay. We could have a, a seance ECP with somebody news. from the grave while we're yeah. What well, we should we should we. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, talk to me about turnip. Christ. Any okay. floor, floor games as well. Look, Steve, playing on I'd, the floor. I'd love that conversation. He played go well, Van Helsing and kick my ass all over the place. Would. 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 <laughs> go on then, Dom. What have you seen? I've seen you put quite a few things up. That um, I so uh... there were loads of things this week. It's really bizarre. Oh, no. and I didn't yeah. even go that far back either. Uh, but. Um, uh, oh crikey, where are they all? Here we go. Um, so we'll start with stuff. I, know, I think you probably started to put this up as well, didn't you, Martin? The the wave three of the bloody mint. Oh yes, yes I did. Uh, I mean, yes, they're just very, again, they just ooze character. I mean, the thing is, I'm going to buy them. I'm, I'm yeah. struggling to find uses for all of them, um, but I will find uses for them. I think I'm, I am actually a bit like you. I'm making a a proper ragtag unit of. Uh, roughly, I think they'd be really good as um, uh, like clubmen as well. Mm -hmm. You could just sort, you know, just yeah, as tout, tout, as some militia, militia bands like the train bands, maybe. Um, I, I don't, but they do look, they do look very cool, don't they? That's the looters. I think we should model ourselves on that when we're in Derby on in May. Um, we... Then that's the oh god, what, the militants. I think he called them, didn't he? Yeah, that's the the guy with the um the lobster helm in the air. He said that he would actually make quite a good Cromwell on foot, which um, yeah, that's actually true. Cool. He would. And then um, this is one of the I forget which one this one is. It, but he was the Parliament. He was called the Par. Was it just called the Parliament? Oh, a veteran man, parliamentarian, a veteran new, new model army, isn't he? I think. I it's so cool. What I love is that he in the, the text. Obviously, it could be anything, but how how a bit like a Full Metal Jacket, whatever. He's got the book, a book of you know a page from the Book of Psalms, like yeah. like tucked into the headband. You know, there's sort of a pack of like you know fags. Uh, yeah. It's it's that. Uh, I think it, it's just very cool. And the thing is, you know that um, okay on that one, I'm assuming the Halba is separate uh everything we got in the last uh wave was single sculpt but the pole arms i would imagine are still uh, yeah i would imagine so it looks attached, like but, they slot in don't but they? they but they did go together so easily didn't they <laughs> they were they, they were it was so did. cool beautiful models um blah, blah, blah. what else oh, we're talking about wave three wave three of silver bayonet is on its way so um north star saying the pre-orders were open at the weekend um, so it looks like this is all the bad, the, the nasties. Well, the ones on the left, yeah. you've got the goblins in there. Um, actually, it doesn't show up terribly well on this picture, but you can see the um, down the bottom, goblins are sort of wearing morning suits and that sort of thing. Look really quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> really quite cool. Um, and I'm not sure what the other ones are, uh, but that's out this weekend. Um, what else? Also saw the assault group. I've got some really nice... Um, I think these are Rita's 16th century Rita's that go up on the um They're very the, cool. for this weekend. I think they go up for sale, even though those are the green stuff ones, obviously, but um do look lovely models. Um and this is really Ooh. good. An A9. Uh, this is front rank. Not front rank, first call. First call. Um, and they're doing the A9 with the normal gun, the two pounder gun, and the A9 with the howitzer. Which I think is, Very nice. is really sweet. That is nice. Really nice little model. That. Um, it makes that done. It's uh, it's first call. First call. First call. Um, uh, and also a couple of other things that I saw that I thought would be interesting. People. So I we haven't really talked about these yet, have we? I don't think. But the speed paints from mm. the Army Painter. So this <clears> is their um, their version of the. Um, Contrast. Yeah, yeah contrasts and everything else so apparently the pre-orders go out this week end of this week i believe so it'd be okay. interesting to get your hands on see what they're like i've seen a lot of interesting comments about it some very good reviews about them some um, are very good i've heard and some are still bad yeah i think it's going to be just like the uh the, the warlock ones isn't it they're going to be some are uh, much better than others but um i'll be getting a set yeah. just to give them a go anyway yeah, yeah, probably same here to me. Yeah, I, I think it'll be one of those things where if they're in front of me and I need a paint of that color, I'll buy it. Um, I'm more, I just, I'm, I'm, I just 
buy things for convenience. I don't really seem to have any brand loyalty to, to pay. No, I just no, buy what saying. I need and it's there. Um, no, it's whatever yeah, you've got that's a decent like. colour, isn't it? That's, that's yeah. the thing. Um, cracky. Uh, I oh, no, can you only one. buy that? Do you know if you can only buy them in the set? I think initially you can only buy them that way, but they will be selling them individually as well. And they are, I think, about two thirds the price of contrast paints. Okay. So they're a lot cheaper and they come in uh, drop bottles. So if you're into that, yeah, that is that is obviously one of the main like the major things, isn't it? The dropper bottle is I, I don't understand why people just don't do dropper bottles. I mean, I know there's with the GW paint, some people like having the sort of paint well at the top that you get, you know, when yeah. you open it and you have that little thing. Um, well, the drying out your paint crusty thing, yeah, that's the one, yeah, that bit, that <laughs> bit, yeah, that, that, they, that always, bit, like, they always end up looking like a four year old bottle of tomato ketchup don't they <laughs> yeah they do i like it I, I i don't mind the pots but um i have to say i have knocked them over once or twice in which case i have swear, sworn very very loudly because that's an awful lot of money gets spread all over your cutting table um other things a couple of other things um i know a lot of people are into the italian wars um yeah this is book oh, okay. three of this series um these Italian guys have been writing. If you've got, if you're into the Italian wars, you've probably got volume one and two. Uh, but this is heading into the latter part of the war. A really, really good book. So I've thoroughly enjoyed the first two. So I will be pre ordering this one. Right, um, and finally, for me, um, I put this on the Facebook page, but um, Geek oh, Villain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the match. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing a Kickstarter. Starts on the 24th, I think it is. Um, for neoprene mats, right? Okay. Which I'm, I'm, it's interesting. They talk about it here with um, new sizes, hexes, squares, and grids, which I kind of get. Um, but I kind of like the fleece myself. Yeah. Well, the fleece is the fleece is better for creating undulations. Yeah. On the on the battlefield, um, neoprene. I mean, I got neoprene, and I have done mm. that, but it's it's. Yeah, well, maybe they're maybe they're keeping a license. Maybe they're just looking to license out to different. Well, not license out, but to be available for other games. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Possibly. System. Yeah, and if you're into neoprene, you because you've got to buy it in from the US, haven't you? Which is uh, rather expensive, mm. or from other parts. So, yeah, so that's interesting. So there you go. That was what I said. Okay, well, I've only got um, got a few things. I um, I did see that Gripping Beast are uh, have just probably uh, thrown up uh, some of their plastic picked um and welsh um models so that's going to be one of the next sets coming out i mean they, they like with all the grip and beast sort of plastics it basically just does what it says and they're just very straightforward mm -hmm. figures aren't they you know not yep. nothing wrong with them at all but they're very um i don't want to use the term basic because that sound i don't mean that in a bad, bad way at all because i've got loads of grip and beast figures but um you know there's nothing it's not they're like not um fussy, something are they? they're not very standard figures. That's you know, right. it's not it's not like a certain manufacturer where there's like you know twelve parts to a British infantryman that you're trying to figure out how to put together. You know, this, this, simple. you know, simple. Yeah, simple. yeah. You know, made for rank rank and file um, stuff. So, um, so that'll be coming out. So they'll be good, but they'll also be good for sort of fantasy armies as well. Yeah, so a speaking, lot of people talking yeah, about Oathmark cheap, would like them. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, I know we've got some people who play Kings of War, and there's a new starter set coming out for that called uh, Storm in the Shires, uh, which is basically a orc army versus a halfling army. Oh. So you've got like so you've got like the halflings riding. Um, uh oh, they're, they're riding dogs. I can't remember <laughs> if they're like Westies or something like that. But they're, um, it's um, it's quite cool because my um, my friend he's got a um, a halfling army and they are brutal. Um, but you'll get the full rule book with that. And I picked up the um, the War in the North um, set. And I, I think they, I think it's sixty quid. So you get two armies and a rule book. And you know if people want a sort of rank and flank fantasy game, and you know they're tired of Warhammer or you know they want to try out something else, then there's that. Obviously, there's still Oathmark and. Um, a couple of Sweet. other games as well the one about this is if you were into multi-basing then what you've had because this encourages it that footprint that those models is on is that base but you could easily lose five orcs out of those, both those units um through that big unit there to create another unit yeah of medium size because it's about again with it's about the footprint of the base not the number of models that are on it even though they do have a suggested model count so you don't just have like one goblin standing in the middle of a massive base um that says this is a horde um <laughs> so um 
you know oh, apparently it's um it's about 80 quid um okay so i stand i stand corrected um another one i saw because mainly because i've been um looking on their um website a little bit more which is lucid eye they've just they're releasing um, more fantasy stuff and they go for things a bit um differently and this is their root elf hedge king corvus so this is an elf it's a bit hard to see, but it's kind of like this fully armoured, evil-looking elf. And I just thought that it looked is, that really is cool. awesome. Yeah, Good I can see you doing something for that involving turnips. Um, now, I don't know if this is for the game, uh, the Red... Was it the Red Book of the Elf King? Uh, the one I was, I was actually chatting to you about. It wasn't Ooh, a yes. I was looking at it. Um, they have got releases for that, but it, the elves in that are a lot more... I guess I'd say like sort of first age tolkien -esque. that, you know, they're really evil and kind of brutal. They're kind of just a bit, they're a bit more like um, sort of Anglo-Saxons. They're not like, you know, there's nothing sort of, you know, fey about them at all. They're just into brutally chopping each other up with axes. So, um, but yeah, I thought that was quite a nice one. And then um, uh, I, this is something I'm, um, I'm looking forward to and I'm excited about. Um, I think you might be as well, Steve, which is Warlord I have uh, announced and uh, slain starter set is up for um for pre-order now from warlord games that's uh, along with a few a few war bands so that's 56 quid for the rule book to start set rule book terrain counters all all the i think from what i understand it's got all of the rules for all the units for the game rather than just that, the units that are in the box that is really good value when you think about it though isn't it yeah, I mean, I, I'm actually because I, I I love saying that. I, th I think I think how's it pronounced? Is it Slania? Slania, Slania. Yeah. But 14 year old Martin said slain, so um, that's <laughs> what I'll do. Um, there is only 10 models in it, um, and one of those is an alternative form for for him when he's when he when he basically hulks out <laughs> and has a warp spasm, which is that one that's next to the rock. Um, the they're all in the Warlord resin, um, which I know I've seen some comments on the Warlord resin, and I've seen um, some some other people comment on this. I'm I'm interested because I I really like the books. I've got all of them. I, I love the stories. So I, I will be checking this out. Um, so um, I might finally actually get to give the Warlord resin a go and see see what it's like. Because of <laughs> your excitement uh, about this, I very nearly bought this. I thought that sounded really interesting. And I thought, no, I won't do it. Um, because it does sound I, kind of fun, but I want to see it played. Yeah, well, hope I'm going to get it and hopefully... You learn with SPQR. Yeah, exactly. It, it's got i mean i'm i'm happy to, i i love these things and i like the 2000 ad system um on what steer said and also what um, other people have said it looks like a fun system um if it's fun and it's in the miniatures because i've seen some comments on the sculpts as well i don't think that people are 100 percent happy on the sculpts but to me they still look you know they look all right kind of looks like you know what you get if this was a tabletop um, mm. Game like a board game it is a tabletop game, like a like a you know a, a well sculpted board game, um, yeah. and I'm fine with that. You know, um, I'll just, well, just see. I'm 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 still tempted to get it if it's if it's terrible, but no, it will shuffle along. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm quite excited about it. I mean, that system seems good. This is they've just swept swapped it about a bit. So instead of you know firing bullets, you're just slinging spells at each other and hacking each other to pieces with massive axes. Some of the war bands look quite cool. Some of the other models, they've got some cool stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, well, I'm going to uh, take a look at it and uh, see. But yeah. I think that's out in I think it's out in April, and the pre-orders are out now so yeah i think so that's, uh, that's quite early so yeah so we'll see if anything else comes out about it i'm sure there'll be stuff getting posted up all the time soon so um yeah i'm kind of looking for a fantasy game to sort of sink my teeth into that's a bit small scale so hopefully it'll be be the one are those huts the cerisa ones the the um the strontium dog starter did have cerisa uh mdf in it so it could be yeah. a sort of a, a reciprocal thing yeah, I wonder um, if it is. They, they do a lot of deals with Sarissa, don't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 I wonder I wonder if that um wonder if that is. But yeah, so that that was all I had um from um the uh from the what, news and uh, things I've seen. One, one thing I will say about Warlord having that the 2000 AD license. I mean, I've got both Judge Dredd and Strontium Dog. And the rules they play so well in that comic book style. Yeah, I think that's the thing, isn't it? It's yeah, meant to be over very, the top. Very, and... Yeah, it's over the top, very quick as well. Uh, that's what I like. Especially the Str Strontium Dog is a really, really... I've, I've not played anywhere near as much Strontium Dog as I like. And, mm. and the rules have been tweaked from that for Judge Dredd. But, yeah, 
some some great starter sets um, for for Dread and Strontium Dog, but I just I just like the way that mm. they've got the license and they are they are sticking at the they're really <laughs> adhering to it. They're not they're not going a bit a bit mad. Yeah. Okay, that's nice, cool. Uh, Studio Gary says, if the slang came with shit, just pick up Blood and Eagle and Fud, Blood, uh, Fud and Blunder and use the models. That is true. Of course, they are completely usable. And I would, I'd be using the Water Spasm um, slain in D and <laughs> I would definitely be using that in there. Um, so very cool. I've just seen a couple of comments in here just saying, um, uh, uh, why are we not um, including paint lists in our, our like in our um, armies? It was just because it was for the models basically um instead of hobby supplies and that and so it was just assuming that, that people were already into the hobby or they get into a new period fair enough people might not have the paints but this was just purely about getting the armies so you know we'll see so um with on on that dom what was your uh well your cho choice i don't know how much of a choice it was i wasn't given it. much of a choice but that's <laughs> fine that's fine it's I'm, I'm, I'm used to that at home so it's all good uh so i did uh english civil war um because and i felt really <laughs> slightly slight trepidation doing this because there's people who watch this uh, stream who uh, are much more into ecw than i am miller but, yeah miller for one <laughs> so i'm sure you correct me if i'm wrong but so i took my myth uh, my 200 quid thought okay what can i do with that so i started looking at the rule sets um and obviously as people have talked about you can get all, so many different rule sets for ECW, as there are for all these different periods. Um, Pike and Shots from Warlords. Actually, I'm surprised it's 20 quid as a PDF, which is really surprising. Um, I thought it would be a lot less than that. But um, So you get the PDF rule set for, for 20 quid, and then you probably also need the uh, Killer King PDF, uh, which is the supplement for ECW. You don't need to have it, but it's kind of a nice flavour. But then you've also got Simon Simon Miller's, you've got uh, Forlorn Hope, Fun yeah. Carter, and there's lots of others. I'm not, yeah. I'm not trying to name every single one uh, out there. But the one I'm familiar with is Pike and Shots, so that's what I've picked on. So instead of buying the book, what I suggest doing is going and getting the King and Country starter set. Now, I did go to set, yeah. uh, third party. I went to Goblin who I do actually do deliver pretty quickly. Um, and 20% <laughs> off, um, which is their fairly standard rate on most of their uh, Warlord stuff. So £62.40 will get you the starter set, which actually also includes the rule book. So that's and it's the, it's the A4 hard book, uh, hardback rule book as well, because that's the one that Miller bought me. That's the only starter set that I think they do where you get the full A4 hardback rule book. Precise yeah. Mondo, which is what it's so good for, I think. And so you could buy the other set, but this, because it gives you the rule set, you know, and if you think the PDF is 20 quid, that's basically you're getting all those figures, of which there's 82 of them in there, uh, for mm -hmm. 40 quid, which is pretty good going. So those 82 figures allow you to build up uh, 58 pike and musket, including their commands. So the way I use my... Uh, ECW forces, my pike and shot regiments are 16 pikemen, 24 musketeers, so two wings of 12. Um, so that would allow me to do two regiments effectively and still have 18 figures left over, which I could turn into mus uh, to dragoons, which don't come in this box set. And actually, the dragoons are really expensive if you buy them direct from Warlord. But Mm -hmm. um so use but you could use those musketeers model them as dragoons and bingo you've got two regiments plus uh sorry you've got one regiment plus the dragoons of 18. then you also get 12 cavalry in that box set and you get 12 firelocks which can be your commanded shots uh for okay. the army so that's my first selection so at £62.40, I'm off to a good start. I've got the rule book. I've got the one, my first regiment, some dragoons, some cavalry, and some commanded shot. Well, at this, po at this point, Steve had, had some yeah. order dice uh, on. Yeah, and books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was yeah. about to say. Yeah. I know, I know. But you don't need dice, order dice for these. You just use no. your normal D6, you see. So you, you don't you need to worry about that. Uh, so I went back to Goblin Games again, and I bought the uh, Battalia starter army which is £67.20, uh, which gives you a whopping 80 pike and shot infantry, which with and my 40 to a regiment gives me two more regiments. So I'm now up to three regiments. Tw another 24 cavalry, which is more than you're ever going to need. Uh, so that's 36 cavalry in total. Another 10 firelocks. 
uh, for commanded shot. And the beauty also with both these sets is you get the plastic bases in there, so you don't need to buy any extra bases, and there's also flags in that. So mm. I've got pretty much the core of my army for £129.60, and really not many games you're going to need more than three regiments or three uh, battalions of, uh, of troops. Um, but you need some other bits and bobs, because of course you do. So I go back to Warlords, because unfortunately these you do have to buy largely direct. Although some people, if you if you hunt around, some third party suppliers will do them cheaper. Oh, you had to put Cromwell, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean that's the other thing. So all those starter sets you could model them as royalists or uh, parliamentarians, pretty much. Um, you know, they come with choice. flags as well, don't they? I mean, all the flags for each side, so or you can split up with your mates and and do it that way. So. But you pick up a couple of commanders, so they do the generic ones at about four pound fifty, and then the character ones at five fifty, such as Cromwell. Um, so you need a couple of those, and then some artillery. You've got the Saka gun, seventeen pound, which is a lovely little model, and the one I really like is the Galloper gun, thirteen fifty. So I'm up to one hundred and seventy pounds and ten p uh, out of my two hundred quid which will give me this so far. I've got three uh, three regiments. The rules, obviously, 22 commanded shot, 18 dragoons on foot, three cavalry units, and two cannons. Which, and I've still got another, well, nearly 30 quid to spend. So you could pop off and get another load of uh, pike and shot infantry, um, £19.60 for another regiment, effectively, which would give you four. You could go and buy the um, some more artillery, or some of the dragoons, or some covenanters, whatever it is, or just spend it all on paints. So that's you could that's uh, right. you could buy some of the excellent bloody miniatures to uh, to, to to mix in for prettiness. Not that yep. I think I'm biased. No, absolutely right, and that's that's exactly it. But with thirty quid left over, you got the chance to spend a little bit of extra on the nicest. So there you go. That's what I would do. Definitely. Oh. Fantastic! Oh, that's, that's, that's the good thing about uh, English Civil War, isn't it? When the the figures that you know, there's they're not specific uniforms. Yeah. Well, um, that's the beauty. Also, the paints you don't need to go and buy loads and loads of paints because usually it's tans and browns and bit of, yeah, bit, yeah, bit of reds. You might need stuff, one right? bright color, to, like yeah. an orange yeah. sash, yeah. isn't it? And, I, I like I like it that Dom like split that starter set and said, "Oh, you know, you get two. I put all of those pikemen into one unit, <laughs> into one, <laughs> one, one, and, and forty five uh, uh, forty five of them are on one base. So like they, that was that was my um, what do you call them the uh, King's lifeguard, the, the big spiky, the big, which I now realise that I'm gonna, only ever going to be able to use in games that are not at my house." Because they're all <laughs> such a big mates. Um, no, that's wicked. No, I think that's really handy. And as you say, there are a lot, of, <coughs> a lot of different rules so you can use. But there's another. Um, what's there's another one produced by the pe uh, the people at Bicon? Is is it for King and Country or no? This country is ours. This country yes. is ours. Yes. But that's um, that's something I'm quite interested in because I like, and I think Ken, you're the same because each battalion has a MDF uh board yeah, with they... like a dial and you put dice in it to represent different parts of the formation breaking up i quite like that but it does mean you end up with this whole dashboard of things in front of you um you know um to, to keep on the battlefield so you need that bit of extra room so okay yeah. all right well thank you very much Tom. well you'll be unsurprised to know that i went for the wars of the roses um but maybe Funny that mate I, really I get, oh, well i just get a lot of questions about it and I've, I've sent the same email now quite a few times so i figured i'd just I'd do it on here um but basically the, the main thing is is there are um there's multiple rule sets um that, that you can use there's uh never mind the bill hooks there's test of resolve there's hail caesar there's lion rampant um but for the mass battle games the only ones that are really dealing with um say the mass battle side of things is hail caesar and, and test of resolve but my argument with test of resolve is it, it kind of does mass battles but a, a lower uh, with less models that makes sense mm -hmm. um less bases so i've designed it for hail caesar um uh, because that's what I, I play and what i enjoy it but from this you can use it for any of those games a lot of those other games say that you you know they it, there's figure removal but there's nothing to, i played never mind the bill hooks and i just add i just add casualty counters next to my bases 
so you know i'm not i'm not worried about that so it's certainly not going to um you know get get in the way at all um so i did a ken <laughs> uh so i um i kicked things off um so i didn't mean to go with brand loyalty on the perry site but <laughs> i didn't buy anything other than perry model so i thought if you could just put everything in that one basket you know what could you get um but there are a, a couple of little uh little extras so um basically the first thing you got to buy is the hail season rule book now i didn't go with the pdf i just went to warlord and said how much is the hardbacks 35 quid i wouldn't do that necessarily but i figured worst case scenario if you couldn't get it anywhere else you'd end up having to go and get that but you obviously can go to third party if you want to save some some money um or you can go and get a pdf if you want to save a lot of money um so 35 quid straight away on that which hurt um but the the good thing is uh well i say it's the good thing there is no army book there is no source book for hail caesar for the wars of the roses despite someone asking <laughs> uh, someone should if, write one of those martin someone should write one but as as there as you would have it there is some there is someone who's written some <laughs> rules some, yeah. some rules and some army lists that can be used but, but my point is it's very easy to make uh to make up rules and because at the back of hail season more so than the other rule books there is a there is a big generic set of statistics isn't there you've got yeah. uh light cavalry medium cavalry heavy cavalry elephant there's all sorts in there um i found hail caesar hail caesar it was easier to make um rules up than the than the other systems but you know if you want i don't mind putting that little bit of extra effort into make things up i know some people don't want to in which case you know there are lots of, i think other people have done um wars of races obviously of course they have because uh, rick Priestley did them you know mm. he put them on, on the perry site so but that's the that's the first thing was the rule book and then i went straight in and looked at the bill and boat now perry do have a deal on but it wouldn't load and I couldn't remember exactly what it was. So I think it's like you said no bottles. deals, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I didn't do it. So I haven't done it. Um, so I haven't done it. So what I what I went in with straight away <laughs> was uh two boxes of the Wars of the Roses infantry. Oh, and yeah. you get you get a, a lot of models in here. Uh in fact, you get I can't even remember how many you get now. How many is it? Uh I happen to have a box. So you get 40 in there. So you get 80 models in there for, for 40 quid. So 50p a model. Um, and from that, uh, from the split in there, you can make uh, 18 uh, billmen and you can uh, make the 22 archers. If you double that up, then you can split them both. And from that, you can then create five units of bill and bow and i've just gone on the idea of frontages so these are um so i do things three bases um three bases wide and 60 by 40s so these are 180 mil frontage units um which in hail season would count as a standard unit um i then make those up as three bases i put five or six archers on a bet on two of those bases and then some between six and one and sometimes ten billman on one base uh to get that sort of packed out hedge of um spiky things in the middle so that gives you a good core because a good core of any wars of the roses army is its bill and bow um so that's something which um which was quite good and reminded me that i did end up actually buying something while i was doing this as well <laughs> You know, uh, uh, the next, the next thing is adding in some foot knights. Um, and for this, I just added in a single box of uh, foot knights, um, which um, I think you guys recognise. Um, and you get you get yeah. thirty eight figures in there, but um, with some of the leftovers from, um, so you get thirty eight figures. So you could effectively, if you're going to do two units of fifteen men as a stand as standard units, um, you're then left with eight. But with the six or seven models, armored models that you're left over with from the bill and bow boxes, you can add those in here and just bulk out another unit. So you've then got three free units and you and you've used up all of the plastic that you've you've bought so far. Um so they you've already got eight units for your battle there and you've got your rule book. Um but the next thing I want, wanted to go for uh is my favorite box set out of the lot. So I bought one box of oh, mercenaries, yeah. which is easy. Oh no, that's not the mercenaries. Such a, the no. mercenaries. There's it's the mercenaries. Such a good <laughs> box set. So yeah, I know. So out of that, you can make three units. You can make two units of um, hand gunners and or crossbowmen with pervade shields, and you can also make a unit of 
of pikemen um but the unit of pikemen would only have 18 in it so it'd be a bit flimsy so we're just going to put those on one side for the moment and uh, just remember those for later but look you've already there you've got two small units by frontages of crossbows or handgunners that you can go around harassing people with or if you're like me they don't do anything for the entire battle um and they just provide victory points for your opponent when he uh, comes crashing into them with cavalry so you know there we uh, there we go um but the uh martin's turning to a peri rep i I... <laughs> he's always been a peri rep i think this is <laughs> true this is very very true I just like 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 you can. I like things being available on one place and just being able to go click 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 go. Especially if we all, you all know it's decent um, quality stuff. Um, the next thing I added in was some light horse. Now cavalry didn't play a massive part in the Wars of the Roses, but if any if I was gonna if someone said what cavalry should I get, I'd always say get the light cavalry over the heavy cavalry. It's fun painting knights, but. If the heavy cavalry charge doesn't come off, you, you, they're just useless. Basically, light cavalry are far more useful. And if you are going for that period period feel, then the light cavalry are a little are a bit more realistic because they would act as prickers and scouts, and then they're the ones who go chasing the enemy down. Um, there's only there's obviously there's one massively famous um, cavalry charge, which is the Bosworth battery um, one, which was really effective up until the point that the king got killed. So uh, <laughs> it doesn't always end well. Um, so there you go. So so far we're up to ten units, uh, no eleven units, sorry, um, which is included. You've got archers, you've got billmen, you've got foot knights. Uh, you're sorry, your heavy infantry, crossbows, and hand gunners for a bit of fun as well. But we do all like things that go bang so we're going to add in two cannons um so the uh the cannons are um uh, nine pound fifty each um, they're metals there's handily two separate models you can buy both of those um and uh but then you really really want to um back that up so i added a bombard as well because the bombard is just just such an awesome kit awesome it's just a lot of fun i mean you re realistically you probably get like one shot of battle you know but it's it's, it's a lot of fun rule of cool. and it, that's it rule of cool and if you can if you can do some um do some sieges then um you know we could you can um Louis would you need a castle for that though martin where would you get one sorry I oh, yeah. Yeah, well it's funny you should mention that Dom, <laughs> because there's this video out there that should know that it, it's just it is a lot of fun but we use the bombard in our um our set battle it's it's the uh the one where we just chucked everything on the table but we painted in lockdown but we couldn't fit it all on so we had to take a third off of it off Would each. that be your award nominated one strangely yes actually that one is it's also it's also uh, the one that's <laughs> the one that's nominated is the one that like probably i don't want to say but it's we just kind of threw brand. everything on we threw everything on the table there's no there's no objectives or story it was just let's put everything on the table and just smash into each other and see what happens um i don't want to ruin it for anyone who um who hasn't seen it but it came to a very abrupt end at the end of turn three because a certain key figure bit the dust <laughs> so we sort of thought well it probably would carry on past here um but that was it it was fun um but archie got the bombard um which is probably the most expensive single model because that's 17 pound 50 that um but it is a it is it is a a very very cool kit and it is obviously and louis says yeah a bit of eye candy for the uh for the mm -hmm. battlefield uh next you're gonna want some commanders and they sell these in packs of three if you do get the deal thing which i couldn't access i think you get like a pack of commanders but I can't remember, um, but you get one pack of free commanders, and with these free commanders, you can now easily divide your one, uh, your five, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen um, units into three separate battles um, for, uh, for your army. But you could also have, if you've been watching our uh, battles that me and Robin have been having, or uh, me and Matt, my other opponent, we quite happily have games of where there's just one commander each. And you can still have a really, really good game, even though you're using that system whereby, you know, you fail orders. You can just adjust things a little bit. Um, but do you remember those pikemen that we put on on one side? Um, I uh, went on there and because you can assemble the pikemen as halberdiers. So you could use them as uh, French mercenaries or Burgundian mercenaries. If you get one of their uh, metal sets of metal halberdiers for seven pound fifty if you just buy some of these guys uh and add them in and mix them in then you can have a full size uh block of either pikes or halbards as well 
to uh, to bring up the uh, the sport, which gives you fifteen units, which you could divide happily into three battles of five units each, um, and you could have you know um, a, a very very decent game. But I had a little bit of of money left over, um, and what's the one thing that you really want for medieval armies if you're going to? Uh, it's not a unit if you're going to be accompanied. What is it? You've got a lot of heraldry. So right. Pete's flags, the the the, the, the packs of, of the packs of Pete's flags are about four pounds each. So you could get four sets, uh, three sets of Pete's flags for your three commanders that you have picked. These are the ones he's just released to Lord Falkenberg, which I'm going to be buying and then replacing the ones I already have for Lord Falkenberg. I'm actually that. I love the I love these flags. I think these the I just love the pack, what he's done here. I think they're ace. I need I just want them. So I'm going to be performing surgery on my other on my units that I've already um created. Um, so uh, you'll get those. And if you if you get all of that, so for that lot there, the of that. So I think that's about two hundred. 75 to 300 models something like that um and you get the the hail caesar rule book and you get the flags that is exactly 200 pounds but not including postage <laughs> which, is <something laughs> I, which is something i forgot which is something i forgot about i don't know if anyone anyone else thought about it but um, i think to be fair if you were buying that much you'd probably qualify for free postage anyway. yeah you probably would yeah so um so yeah that was um that was mine so yeah 200 quid you get a surprising amount um i also did add it up and i have about four or five times this <laughs> which then i was like that's like a thousand pounds and then um yeah so um, scary you probably haven't yeah. got that you're short on your home insurance either do you know what's scary is i'm just talking about the painted stuff i'm, I'm looking up here and i can from where i'm sitting i can see some foot knights, some Wars of the Roses infantry, some light cavalry. Uh, there's a box of Zulus up there that someone sent me. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, the thing is, as well, there are um, other other manufacturers that do make cool, mod, uh, cool metals. There's um, Athena miniatures, there's Front Rank, there's First Core, um, there's some uh, Foundry. You know, they all do them, but the only thing i found with the wars was the race the perry ones really were just really nice um I know you first time you can change them it, yeah and if you want to if you want to do your kit bashing then um then you can 108 pounds deals for six boxes including the murder with mounted command into it yeah but wasn't it um i think five of those boxes are the same aren't they it's five boxes of um like wars of roses infantry one box of mercenaries so you'd be that's fine if you just want to paint like loads of bill and bow no, that's it. I remember now. The original deal is three three boxes of Bill and Bow, some commanders, and a cannon for sixty or seventy quid. But that's a lot. That's a lot of Bill and Bow. So I was trying to create something where you've actually got a bit of this. And I think I've got all corners covered in here yeah. in yeah, terms of alarm, got things it? things that go bang. Um, but yeah, so that was my um, my nice. entry um, for it. So yeah, but I think that was uh, so um, Barry. If you're watching. Thank you for your little question that turned into our, our entire subject for tonight. Um, that was uh, mine. Didn't uh, have to think again. <laughs> no, I had to make everybody else think. It was no, no. Uh, it, a good it, it, thing. It a good thing about Martins. If you've got any left over, um, Perry's mini. No, was, was, him now. brilliant, yeah, brilliant him now. Return, return of twenty-eight. That is very that is very very <laughs> true. But no, nice one, chaps. Thank you for taking the time to do that. We will post all of our little um, shopping lists um, in the uh, in the group. So um, if people do want to see those or, or go and have a look at them, um, do that. I hope you found that interesting. Um, and of course, you know, if anyone's got any alternatives, um, if someone wants to work one out, then for another game system, uh, maybe someone like muskets and tomahawks or, or um, you know whatever sharp practice, then post it up as well. So it'd be really interesting. To see you know so for if they can see but so 300 models of wars of the roses or 20 models for turn it 28 so <laughs> there we, we go um we're at that section of the evening chaps where um we normally take a look at some photos should we uh Mm, Should we do that? Should we good. have a look? So um again, it's it's just been raising the Facebook group. Now, especially now, I mean obviously there's 500 people in there, which which I know a lot of um groups have got loads more in it, but there seems to be 
everyone's posting up like all the yes. time that it, it is a lot of interaction i went on there to sort of you know save some photos and while i was doing it six more posts appeared i, I, I gotta say went... and they're all buggers as well because they realize just if they do it just the day or so before the show <laughs> they do think they have more chance of getting on and so you suddenly yeah. get an avalanche of them all appear that somebody <laughs> I love um that. Anthony's just joined the stream, said he's coming to this halfway through, but he's concerned you guys are costing me small fortunes. It stands without <laughs> going in all and up <laughs> Lancaster Army. Uh, yeah, that's um that's part of the uh part of the uh the joy of joining us. Although to be fair, I will be um see, I still think about bolt action. You know, I keep on thinking about another another army for that. That's the um that's that's the thing. That's uh and Steve, you don't make it very easy to um to ignore. So you know, no, that's the, no, and no. I've just realised actually that Anthony, sorry, Anthony, sorry, hello, Anthony's the guy that we game with that we've just got into Test of Honor by making him by playing that game. So he's gone and bought mm -hmm. Test of Honor. He went and bought um, muskets and tomahawks. He went and bought uh, Dead Man's Hand. So uh, so yeah, go and get a hashtag yeah. and blame Martin. <laughs> it is cool but no anyone if you've got some ones to pop up then then go for it and do it over in the facebook group um so starting out uh carl put up some seleucids how's that for a pipe block Jeez. oh that's a proper pipe block no shields I oh, that's what i was thinking no shields yeah they, they oh, very nice cool. shoes then <laughs> yeah, nice no shoot. There's sandals there, surely. Um, very, very cool. My question when I see that straight away is how many holes do you have in your hand? Because those pipes yes. look like they're wire. <laughs> yeah. So um, but very, very cool. Um, I do want to get into some ages. Dom, did you buy impetus in the end? I did, mate. Did yes. You? Yeah, mm. yeah. I they still do look very promising. So, uh, I do I do want to give it a crack. I, I really do. Um, it's just that there's so little time and so many games that's exactly my problem mate <laughs> you know i know um so that is really cool uh felix uh posted up some italians Whee! we all like all like some italians so very very cool i really like he's done the um on the finial is it is it is fi finial not final finials isn't it um because coming down there he's got the italian colors on that yeah that they're wicked, not finials so. they're spaghetti aren't they <laughs> Not, not sure we can say that. Apologies. No. Uh, thanks. That's my channel as well. Cheers, Dom. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the Italian troops are spaghetti. It's true. It's true. Actually, to be fair, I, do you know the Warlord Games troops um, for France? And then is so they've just modelled onions hanging off of some of them, haven't they? On yes. the backpacks. Yes. Like, it took me ages. I was, I was sitting there going, no, they haven't just put a string of onions hanging out. <laughs> like, I they, thought it was garlic. Let me Garlic? How big is the garlic you you use? They're like the size of footballs. I'd be terrified if my garlic was that big. There's garlic like that in tournament twenty eight. I'm surprised. I you imagine so. I imagine there's, tur <laughs> there's garlic with beaks and claws. I do. Terms, I do like it? garlic. You can get garlic, you, can, you can get elephant garlic, can't you? Which is uh, they are massive. Yeah. Um, um Al Alid has just said that the wife just caught part of the show and she's now walking to the shed with a calculator in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, sh the shed we made you buy. Oh, yeah. oh dear. Uh next up, uh James uh has been doing some 15 mil. Look at Ooh, that. Yeah, Look at lovely. those. They're lovely. Oh, very nice. They one, are they? they're ba um, battlefront, aren't they? They're battlefront. Yes. Um, yeah, are they pla they're plastic. They're the plastic. Stuff. Yeah, they're the plastic ones. They're the, uh, they're the ones I've been painting for the little chain of command at fifteen mil. But I, I, I said to James in the Facebook group when I first opened them, I was absolutely blown away by the level of detail on fifteen mil. Figures. It's just phenomenally good. I mean, just look at look at the guy on the left. Look at the helmet. Is that the? Um... He's put the, is that the Wehrmacht flag he's put on there? Is that the, the old German thing. flag? The, the black, yellow, and red? Yeah, I mean, just they just the thing is, the best thing about them, they're plastic. Yeah, do you, do you want to just say that one more time in case everyone missed it? <laughs> <laughs> they're plastic. <laughs> um, uh, Beckus, what would Peter say? Yeah, we, we, we agree, I think. I think so. James, yeah, James yeah, wins. I think so. We just stop there, shall we? Yeah, he wins. Yeah, no, he's he's very cool. But no, James obviously he's um he'll be coming to Crackle. Uh speaking of stuff, Alex, uh he's been doing some uh, Oh playing. now these are very good. <laughs> I've been watching yeah, his stuff as he's been choosing these and it's like, oh 
lovely, lovely no card planes from World War One. There, I love the blending. Yeah. It's just very, very cool. Awesome, and I like the mat as well with the uh, the villages yeah. laid out. So that's uh, that's very cool. And uh, uh, he's done some other ones. He popped out. I mean, the problem is, of course, everyone's posting up so many pictures, and we can't we pick one from each person um, yeah. to share. But go, please do scroll back through um, through the Facebook feed, and you'll see some more. Um, Hideyoshi Daryl. Um, I mean, he posted up some amazing stuff. He posted this up. I mean, <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, mean look, I mean, I mean, just it's just. Look, it's just not fair. I love the 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 casualty that's, that's yeah. running forward and just getting getting mints. That's the guy that I use for the running away markers. This one, he's just run straight into an axe. Or, or oh no, it's the guy behind. He's poking him with a big yeah, yeah, yeah. This one behind. It's yeah, supporting him. Fantastic, lovely, and I assume that's hundred years war. Or I can't remember what he said. Now they're, that's what they're the hundred years war. They look like the helmets. Look like they're hundred years. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jamie, um, I assume this is for Silver Bayonet. Um, he's been he's been doing he's been getting uh, he's been mutilating French uh, French figures, um, but it does it looks very very cool. It would be very very cool. Half so, of me you know, approves of that. Half of me doesn't. But I was thinking, <laughs> and I completely forgotten about this. Didn't Jim make like a whole undead Prussian army and then and had like Eddie in there he as did, well? Yes. Like, he did, yeah. He did, didn't he? I was trying to convince him to use it for turnip, but he, he said he just, I, he's got other ideas for turnip. I, I, I think that he should organise a game with some people in that Facebook group we don't talk about, <laughs> and, uh, and, not, and not and not and not tell them, and then turn up and put it on the table. Oh, that would be <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, John. He's been painting some tanks. Ooh, so, oh, nice. And I think these are what I think these are 170 second. Um yeah, they, they look are. 20 mil, don't they? They, they do. are they great. are great. So nice. I, I really like the uh, the weathering and the edge highlight. Yeah, and it, look at the rivets. I don't want to be a rivet counter, but look at the rivets. <laughs> <laughs> and look, look, look what's underneath them as well. Yes, yeah. proper basing. Proper basing. Nice. nice. Uh, it's, Good lad. Like it. Very <sighs> Very cool. Uh, next, um, we have Joan. It's been a lot of uh, vehicles this week, so Joan is yeah. working on some half working on some half tracks. Ooh, um, oh yeah. So, um, but again, love lovely work. Oh, is that going to be a there. British one? Because that looks like a British tin helmet or Canadian in the second one along instead of an American helmet. I hadn't even, I hadn't even noticed that. Was spotted. Oh, I yeah, I think Joan. So yeah, British or Canadian. Yeah, that's from the old Len Lease. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. No, that is very, very cool. Uh, so the next one I'm going to put up, right? Now, he's now it, this is from Martin, and he, he's been putting up pictures for the Windy Boat game for like the last <laughs> like, week and a half. And with each one, I all I, I think it looks amazing. I think this is like a stunning thing, but it, it's absolutely 100% convinced me not to do Like, if you, if you guys hadn't already, I look at how cool that is. Just with the rat lines really and the sails, I I don't even want to attempt it. That you is know what? They're, they're, amazing. They're, they're, they're not even the bloody ball of rat lines. They're no, no. He's, he's made his hand made them using a jig. I think. Yeah. Holy. He said something like he said all the rigging was slightly tricky, and it's like no, it wasn't. It was fucking awful. <laughs> bloody awful <laughs> to do. Jesus, but look at he's done. I mean, do you do oh, commissions. I, do you do commissions? I. I <laughs> I just, can't, I mean, I it's it's just phenomenal, I and mean, he's been posting up progress pictures over the over the last few days. I know as well he he's he's got he can't, he can't make crack on because uh, it would have been I'd have loved to have just seen that in the uh, face. I mean, how many more has he got to do for this? <laughs> it's like a few more, I more than I'll ever paint. Let's put it that way. I mean, this it, is it's it's just phenomenal. I mean, that is that's fantastic but um again that's now well and truly gone yet yeah, that's oh, I'm never and around the sails it. and around the and around the mask around the mask. <laughs> yeah no, just i know don't you just feel inadequate like it's, it's, it's just, amazing um so next um we've got carl now carl's worked towards roses but he's um he's been turnipped by Steve, and he's going yes, to look at those. As well, the mud and the blood and the gore um so he i know he just put a video up on his channel um and he was um he was showing things off but it worried me because he had some um, cavalero miniatures 
and then he had some turnip <laughs> stuff and i was like please don't turn it no don't you stuff. Dare. like please don't but very very cool i just love the beaky heads very cool yeah uh nathan um i i think this is the is it the c i can't i don't know what the c elves um from age of sigma um i think i could be wrong um but i, I know there, I were just, I, elves. there are there's some that are riding like lobsters or something aren't there <laughs> yeah there's there's <laughs> like some uh, didn't you hear there's like there's like uh no uh, the, you know me. shadow what, what's the game called is it, shades is, it, fact. is it shades is it shades is it shades spire where you have like a little team of four and you is like a little board game. Yeah. But yeah, you can yeah. yeah, yeah. One of the models is a little crab. And it was voted like the everyone's favourite model because it's just a little crab that's on oh, this right. base. I, like I you had like Abaddon. That. You had like Abaddon on one side. And it's called I can't remember what they're called, but that is very cool because I love the what he's the way he's painted the um the stuff that's been flung out. Um so I assume this is a, like a, a sorcerer or a wizard of um of some description um but yeah very cool uh neil uh has been going with acw which Ooh. is always nice always nice to see nice. um so we have um some confederates there i don't i can't remember if he said what system he's using these for but that would still be used again that would be useful in black powder and yeah. um sharp practice wouldn't it because it's on the 40 yeah, by yeah. 40 really bases. Nice. uh pat more vehicles yay that's a brilliant What's that? That's not. Is that? That's not a Daimler, is it? It's a on Humber. I can't remember what one that is. It was an armored car, A and E C or something. Is it A C? Up on my British arm. Oh, but it's very cool. Again, but it's just a really nice highlighting on it. Like that's doing a chart in the dry brushing in the right way, you can just really bring like vehicles together. I haven't painted a vehicle for ages. I do need to get on with it. Speaking of vehicles, Phil has done his uh, Sherwood oh, Yeomanry. Nice. Oh, nice, um, man. That green is awesome. What green's that? That's fucking great. Brilliant green. It's real. You must be loving this, Steve. I think this, this, it, there's definitely been a vehicle World War II boom. World War II uh, vehicles and a bit of turn at 28. You can't beat it. You really can't. Well, no, it. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, Simon has been working on his Lizard Man army. Um, and uh, this is from... Now, I know he's using... I think he's going to use these for... Uh, I think it was Oathmark. Um, yeah. and, but he's also... Uh, they're from Lost... I think it's Lost Kingdom miniatures. They're STLs. Yeah. Um, and he's been posted about them. And I know that they are fantastic. So you've kind of got this lizard man priest that's kind of like stroking this serpent thing but he's been posting up all these pictures and i've i've, I've had to like stop myself <laughs> i haven't been on this website yet um but i know he, he's posted up one which is like this monster jumping off a building um like a, in, in it's breaking it as he's going in so lovely lovely stuff Beautiful. uh next up we have robin and it's not something from the wars of the races for me to kill um it is he's acw so he's mixed Kalistra with the epic ACW to create these lovely looking battalion bases. Oh, very nice. Um, I really like what he's done with the strips and by separating them and not putting them that close together and then oh, creating some skirmishes. Nice. So he said that what he was planning on doing was, it, you know, for, I guess for games like Pickett's Charge or General's Army, each one of these would then be a brigade, but for Black Powder, he would use each one as a battalion. So, yeah, it's a really good cool, idea. But mm. very, very cool. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Uh, Steve uh, has got some more Age of Sigma stuff. Um, and um, just, again, like the stuff he's played before, it's just really nice and bright. And I like that because a lot of the models that the see for like Age of Sigma are really, really dark. Yes. Um, because I, I guess because they try to go grim dark. So, you know, it's, um, <laughs> you know, why not? Um, and where are we? The next, now the next one was um, emailed to us. Um, and I know they've emailed us before, but the username is Claymore27. But so I didn't actually, um, they, they haven't put their actual name in there. So if this is yours, just let us know. Um, but these are some of the French Marines, French Indian War. Mm, oh, uh, nice. nice. They it's are, fantastic. they really nice. are lovely Do, mine gets slaughtered every single game i mean i know that's not unusual for me to lose but in <laughs> but i i have like like natives i have um you know just standard militia but the the i can never pronounce this properly so shall i even try my is it campania campania de della yeah. della marine or something mm -hmm. like that um they just get murdered all the time so i'm like yeah these are the vet you know these are the world trained now they just get taken out they just get killed. <laughs> every time every time but lovely stuff uh and to finish off steve has done some dwarf berserkers 
So I very cool. I was gonna use it for his Kings of War. So that's there you go. That's like a, a small that's like a small unit for Kings of War. So you've got that base size, um, and you can just do some awesome stuff like that, where you have they're wearing dog. Well, I think I definitely I, when I first looked at it, I thought they were it was like doggies, not necessarily wolves. <laughs> it's wolf skins. <laughs> I, had to, I had to I had to double take. Um, but they are really nice. I really like the woodwork on the shield as well. Yeah, so, really um, good. But who would not be terrified at that dwarf at the front with the with the blonde beard? coming at you tackle out tackle um, out ta <laughs> ta ta tackle out um basically <laughs> yeah um but absolutely fantastic stuff guys so thank you very awesome, very much man. for submitting Top remember stuff. there's a link to the facebook group down below if you're not a member come on over and join us we're going to be posting up the stuff about CrackCon and all the other little fun bits and bobs that we've got going on um remember as well guys if you did enjoy the video like the video because it helps us out a lot um and um yeah it's just really thank you for joining us if you remembered it was on a Tuesday, which apparently about 120 of you did. So thank you very, very much. Uh, next week, we are, I think we're meant to be with Ken. Are we going to be with Ken? Or do you want someone should else be. to hope? Yeah, we'll, yeah should be. We'll, fight, we'll find out one, one way or another. Um, but I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else to do now, is there, lads? Because I'm really confused because I feel like it's t t tomorrow is Tuesday and it's not. Yeah, it's, I'm, it's I'm all out of sync. I'm all out of sync. No, I, yeah. I, it feels like a Monday, but tomorrow's going to be Wednesday. So I want your cravat. Uh, Nick, uh, Nick says Monday, please. Yes, we are. We are back to. Uh, we are back to. We are back to normal. We are back to our Monday time is next week. The only reason we didn't do Monday yesterday was for the sake of Ken's relationship. Um, so, uh, so we changed. But no, to to, to be fair, um, we you know we had a very nice Chinese, which I actually then finished eating before the the stream. Just giving me a bit of suggestion. And as Red Steph says, you only have six days to wait till the next. Exactly day. that. You, you, you do. Did you did you see the one above that. it though? Did you, did you see Louis's suggestion? Do a Monday mm, and a Tuesday. No. <laughs> one oh, one no. day we'll have to. Um, I bet one day we'll have to do a um like a, a 20, 24 hours 20, a sponsored twenty four hour painting stream, oh. or, do, or do it or do it in relay and just take over from each other, something oh, like God. that. I remember. I remember when was it Stugmeister did one. And yes. he, he looked like a bit of a wreck by the end of it. I remember, I remember like saying goodbye to him at like 11 o'clock at night and then logging on again like in, in the morning. And he was there and he was painting all these like little, I, think, I can't remember if there were six mil or ten mil Napoleonics. And he was going, he was going a bit funny, I think, by the end. So, um, but anyway, guys, oh, wow. thank you very, very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Um, and we will see you all next week on Monday on Ken's channel, unless we change our minds. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we'll see you again. I'm going to see if I can find the outro. I have found the outro. See you later, guys. Take yeah, care. Yeah, Bye. Bye.